D smokes here. D smokes here. In the building. In the goddamn building. Yes, sir. What's the deal, man? Right before you even get to start talking, I want to tell you a little Ooh. bit something about D Smoke. I learned a lot about him today. I already know. And uh, but you didn't know this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what you didn't know. All right, we well, used do. to wear motherfucking asses back in school. <laughs> Why are you cussing, dog? Oh, oh, you ruined it, Duno. Okay, first of all, this is my first time. You always ruin it. Ugly, dog. No, I you don't. ugly. Dang. Hey, hey, you hey, rat. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. 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 Oh, uh, you want to start with the jokes? Let's now. go. Bro, good? bro used good. to knock students out, bro. At, at hey, he putting extras on it. He putting extras. So look, he put extras on it. He said students. I, he, I said no. He used to be used to go to Inglewood. I mean, you taught at Inglewood, Westchester. You know what I'm saying? You taught so, at Inglewood. I taught at Inglewood, Westchester, View Park. I taught on Crenshaw and Slauson. So I, I was, said, I know. And, 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 and beat up middle high schoolers. School. Middle school. They was high schoolers. <laughs> there was, there was, hey, some of them, some of them was 19 years old in the 12th grade. You know what I'm saying? With, with D1, I'm not knocking nobody that was 19 <laughs> in the 12th. You know what I'm saying? If that's your, it, live your truth, he my nigga. If that's senior. your story. Uh, T-Rail, true story. He Super was a six-year senior. senior. Hey, hey, if that's your story. That's because he was me. that's because he was squabbling with the teachers in the twelve in the sixth six grade. grade. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. His teacher, he was he was smacking on him. Yes, she was. Man, shit your dumb ass. Yes, sir, I was Mrs. Appletree. Bro. He used to sock students out, bro. <laughs> Look, I did not sock him out. He used to bring I the just gloves. Socked them up. I brought gloves. He and look, look, but the whole thing is, the he whole thing is, him. look, mind you, I, I mind you, I'm 5'10", I I I'm 5'10", a buck 65, you know what I'm saying, fighting the ones that's, not fighting, boxing, the ones that's two, that's, that's 6'2", 220. You know what I'm saying? This is the whole, I'm going to gain students. all y'all respect. High school mind students, you, hey, like you right Peanut, now. Patrick on Woosar. Patrick on Woosar, Peanut in the NFL right now. You know what I'm saying? Me and him got in the gloves. Me and the youngsters got in the gloves. And it was love. It was just It was just this. It was just this. Because I come in day one like, oh, yeah, I went to Inglewood, too. Oh, yeah, I lived on Fifth Avenue, Manchester. And they like, for real? You know? So everything <laughs> everything I say, they going to test. You know what I'm saying? So we got in the gloves. And that's a fast forward to respect. After that, we all good. Like I, I just imagine, like, my kid coming home with a black eye. Who hit me? Oh, oh boy. Dr. Smoke socked me in my eye. I'm like, what? Hey, I was Dr. nervous. Smoke. I was nervous one time, bro, at View Park. I forget this kid's name. But boy, I hit him. Bro, because I told him, and because he was like my size. I'm you I usually be like, you big boy, come on. Right? He called me out and I was like, bro, you don't want to do this. You're not big enough. Right? I'm what a is grown it, man. This is a student. I, bro, I'm a grown man I told him But I was turning something down If you ain't big enough I'm like nah bro You don't want it He was like nah Ferris Let's run it I'm like alright man Come on So we get in the gloves I, I told him And this is the preface it, Like I really box So if you push the line However hard you go I'm gonna match you Like if you go Ham if you're trying to Take my head off And I see them punches Flying by I'm like alright I gotta tag you He goes ham Right The nigga attacks me Right I'm dodging him and then he, I just see it open, and I can't, I can't resist. I'm like, oh, you, you threw that wow, that shit, bing bop, right? I hit him with two, nigga. <laughs> this nigga stops. This nigga stops and goes, ah, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh no. I'm like, I broke his jaw. Bro, what did the school like, board say about this? <laughs> They Cause didn't they know. knew. Did, no, you have, no, did you ever have time to teach? He did bro, the show. He got out. Bro, of there. He did this the show is right after after school. This is after school. I know. Bro. I know your students in class like don't don't class clown do nothing. No, no. Doctor Smoke will whoop your ass. Yes. No, this is the thing. <laughs> the thing is, I want you to be yourself. I'll plan the class. I'll plan the class so that you have opportunities to play and all. We'll have activities where we'll do skits and all that shit. Like be yourself, but just wait till the time to do it, so that when we could we could go into the skits, y'all can have fun. Y'all could be like Ferris is the best. But when I'm like, all right. Time to take a test. Time to sit down and shut the fuck up. We getting a visit today. We gonna this how we gonna be? I need y'all respect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't respect me, then we gonna have a problem. And if I'm having a bad day, y'all gonna have a bad day. You know um, what I'm saying? Imagine so, the superintendent coming in the class. Doctor like, Ferris coming. <laughs> man, bro, I, I heard you whooped his ass. <laughs> man, bro. <laughs> yeah, he was going crazy. No, man. but this what, what actually on the happened? Kids, they're in there crying and shit. No, I, I didn't beat them up during the day. It was after school. And only the ones that really thought they had those. The kids, bro, 
can you imagine if a teacher in when you was in high school was like, what? Let's lock up. You'd be like, oh, hell yeah. I'd have been happy. Come I'd on, bro. I'd have been so happy. And, but so I wasn't even angry. calling them out. Like, could you give me an F? Cook? Nah, cook. Bing, bing. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Untrack. I think that was your name, Mr. Untrack. Mr. Untrack. That nigga name was Mr. Untrack. He was in his class? Something like that. If I ever see you, man, we might still have to get out. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like that, nigga. that nigga dead, man. When was you in school? <laughs> oh, that dude. nigga out of here. 2001. Damn, you, uh, nigga. He graduated. He graduated like 84. No, his bro, he graduated 2001. You lying. Tyrell. How the fuck you know? Because the Crenshaw High School posted you. <laughs> <laughs> T Row graduated high school and I was one. <laughs> Wait, you was you was one in two thousand one. I'm a two thousand baby. Whoa, and you a young ass kid. T, T Row was squabbling teachers when I was. T Row even know about. Oh, bro, that's what that's how I knew you was old. Earlier today, when you was talking to D Smoke, you asked him a question and you looked down at him like this. I'm like, this motherfucker, T Row crap. Bro. You was waiting to say that one, huh? <laughs> no, because I was, was waiting. Nigga, he hey, was nigga, waiting. You only two years ahead of me in high school. Goddamn it, so. You, all this old, I'm older than you, yeah. and you was a teacher? Yeah, you older you than me. But my thing is, all this shit he said, like, old ass nigga talking to him, I'm over here like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you were like 25 being a teacher? I was, nigga, I was 23. 23, that's, that's crazy. crazy. So that's, 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 yeah. so that's part like of the reason why sure. it's like, that's crazy. you have to, the, the first thing you got to establish respect. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, teaching is one of the hardest things niggas will ever, ever decide to do, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. The most ever. Under, bro, the ever, most bro. underpaid job Underpaid, ever. too. And, and, but teaching will also make you the smartest, wisest motherfucker in the world if you learn how to do it well. You know what I'm saying? Why did so, you decide to go down that avenue, though, as far as being a teacher? Bro, it, I just kind of stumbled that. upon it. I was, man, I, I told you I had a full ride to UCLA. I wasn't trying to get no job, none of that. One of my mentors caught me on the walk you know, uh, at UCLA, and I spoke as a high school guest speaker at the UCLA graduation because they knew I was about to go to UCLA. And so I got on campus and a couple people already knew who I was. My mentor saw me on the walk like you was the, the high school student who spoke at the UCLA. Come on, I got a job for you. Fill out the application. We gonna, well, I got this tutoring program. I want you to, you know, we got paid travel. And I was mm. really like, I ain't trying to do none of that shit. And then he said, paid travel. I was like, oh, I could be reading on the bus, getting, you know, I'm like, for sure, let's do it. So then I end up tutoring at Inglewood because he had a site at my school. I end up tutoring at Inglewood as a freshman at UCLA. And I Damn. every year I was like, all right, I ain't doing this job no more. Somehow I was like, nah, I like this, you know, because that, that kind of work is just dope. Ain't like as a black man in education, it ain't too many of you. So as soon as you hit campus, they like, oh, shit, this is, this is all right. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, you know, I ain't never trying to fight no kids like because I want to. It's just, that's what I do. And when they find out I do it, they call me out. You know what I'm saying? So, And that started in college. When I was doing the tutoring thing, they was like, you box? No, you can't run it. So you went all the way to college with this shit. Bro. Fucking kids up. Bro. <laughs> but it stopped. But no. UCLA medical nah, student, you gonna said? get your he ass. He said medical. Dope, Every time I say UCLA, <laughs> niggas add their own spin on it. <laughs> UCLA biologist, nigga. Yeah. That's crazy though. What? what? Yeah. No, like just getting into teaching. I never met a nigga like I want to be a teacher. I never met I a nigga didn't that say was really. I never even really said that like I want to be a teacher. But I was, you know, I got offered the job. So once I was director of that program that I started off at, that was my first job out of college. I directed it. So I had a staff of thirty eight students, thirty eight UCLA students. I'm signing their paychecks, training them, you know. Sending them out, having one on ones, staff meetings, all that at 21 years old. Damn. So that's a two year term. So once I finish, that I was meeting with Miss Tate, who is the principal, it probably still is at Inglewood. And she was like, When you want a real job, come over here. We got, you know, you bilingual. We need a Spanish teacher. Wow. You know, turns out my job was real so as shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga said, <laughs> this nigga said he got a C in, in Spanish. How? Because I didn't go to class. I didn't get a C for not knowing Spanish. <laughs> you, re you, were you really don't Spanish. know Spanish though, because you talk like you, you, you don't you know, know you Spanish like slang. that. You talk how, slang. How are you, motherfucker? How are you gonna tell me that I don't know Spanish? How's your mom you talk Say slang. some shit to him in Spanish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Say some shit to him in Spanish. Because he talking slang, right? No, no, no. That's too much. I, I ain't heard him no, no, because the fool. I don't text. For not a, a total Spanish speaker that didn't teach me how to speak Spanish. My mom taught me how he to speak Spanish. Cholo, yeah, because he think, he think I'm over here like... Now I learned from Naomi. Yeah, like, no, I learned from my mom, fool. There we I go. mean, when I used to be in Spanish class, they'd be like, that's not correct Spanish, and you talking in the uh, lingo, blah, 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 and that's not right. Well, yeah, because you were probably... Your first word in Spanish was probably like, puto. 
Puto. And like chupa mi verga, right? Payaso. Yeah. Cabron. Payaso. That, that was like, see, that's not like, yeah, that's Spanish, but it doesn't mean it's like, it's not proper. Right. You know what I mean? Payaso not proper? No, but no, it's proper. To madre. That's, madre. Yeah, to madre. <laughs> chupa mi huevos. Yeah, see? see? Okay. Well, that's that's more like go, go, Keep going. What else you got? Leche. <laughs> Leche. <laughs> I'm about to run out. Hold on, nigga. I don't know. Like, because once a nigga get it, so. <laughs> oh, wow, that's there good. You go. Yeah. One, two, don't, three, say, keep don't say. Don't say. Don't say. What don't say? What don't we say? Contour say. This nigga. Hey, bro, have you guys ever thought about, like, damn, what if I learned the language from back home? That nigga, what you mean, tight. back home? Yeah, like. I'm from Compton. Motherfucker, you know what I mean. I'm talking about back home. He you mean Africa? Africa? Yeah. Yeah. They talk English. Why from Compton. They don't talk English no, in they Africa. Got, but see, this is the thing. This is what motherfuckers. Said, like we get, this, we get this one-sided view of like Africa. Nigga, Africa is the most multilingual place Where's in the, the world? fucking world, bro. If you in Nigeria, you gonna speak some. You gonna speak some Yoruba, some some Hausa, some English, and some French. Really, I never even heard of Hausa. I'm That's like, another nigga, tribe. You know what I'm saying? Because right yeah, when you get on the airplane, everybody bilingual. Bro. You at least know. You got at least know three languages. And I just felt. Wait, you bilingual like once. When I went to Europe and shit like that, I'm like, these niggas is talking, you know what I'm saying? Period. French, English, like, and they can really, you know, you know what I'm saying, speak to you. I'm like, bro, all I know is English. This ain't cool. Period. I need to learn Spanish. Like, did, did he touch, fuck it, was it Cabo? Did he teach you some Spanish? Well, did I teach myself? Yeah. Um, I taught myself the in-between, right? Mm. So you learn the rules of the language, you learn the basic vocabulary, but nobody's going to do the work. Like, like... If you, when you learn Spanish in the classroom, it's like learning how to swim in the classroom, right? Until you jump in the pool and you listen to the, the Spanish music and you watching telenovelas and you watching the news and you, you know what I'm saying? That's when you really like, okay, this is how it's spoken. It's still places where I go, like, if somebody from Honduras come in here right now and start speaking, you and me both might be like, oh, yeah, I ain't what is that shit? shit? Even like Salvadorians yeah. when they talk. Like, like, real, like, boom, I like, I'm puta. Like, I'll be like, all right, you gotta slow hey, down. Tú, tú me tienes yeah, que hablar yeah, un poco yeah. más despacio like, porque relax, no te entiendo. You know, you know what I mean? Like, Professor, you, Professor Smoke. Relájate, no te entiendo. Soy de un lugar smoke. diferente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah because even puta. For, <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I just want to end with that. <laughs> yeah, because even like Guatemalans have their own language, bro, they speak dialecto. And that yeah, shit like is thing. crazy. But to me. Guatemalans, they got so many uh, indigenous tribes yeah, that ain't yeah. never been touched by like by Spaniards. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's people in Mexico that's only that don't speak Spanish that it's are true. that are straight like Indios. Like and that's that's shit. Shit. they speak crazy. I want to find out like what ex you know that DNA shit. Like, do you know exactly where you? you I know you probably know where you came. I from. did it. Are we I'm a lot of Nigerian, some Ghanaian, and then like trace amounts is like I don't know where the fuck I'm from. My shit just say uh, 78%, 72% South African. And then everything else oh, wow. is just like broke up, like European. Yeah, I seen Asian in there. Um, you look Asian. <laughs> this motherfucker say you look Asian. I see it. <laughs> look, I see it. <laughs> it's hey, myself in the mouth with this I'm motherfucker Paul. He know Black China. That's why. Oh, that's how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little cross pollination or some shit. It's been going crazy this whole week, man. <laughs> Like, you know, it's crazy, bro. I actually just did the shit, bro. I'm waiting on my results. I think it take like Man, shit, bro. Mexican. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. No, no. I'm not like, Mexican. Bro, what if you 1% no, black? black? Bro, bro. bro I'm for sure going to be like somewhat Spaniard and shit like that. What if you 1% black? Spaniard. Bro. You from Spain? De donde mother, eres? Eres Mexicano. Yeah, we're, we're Mexican, bro. Okay. What I'm saying is we got conquered by the Spaniards, motherfucker. So my ancestors ain't Mexican, So dude. you want to be from Spain? Spain? No, but it'll be, it'll be a mixture of Spain. Tiene que enseñar a él porque un Mexicano. Come on, Pedro. <laughs> he tries some shit. Devin Levin, Devin Levin. So here. since you found out you part Asian, did it make you feel different? <laughs> it made me, you know what I'm saying? I was glad I liked Chinese food. <laughs> 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 I was like, like I, was, I knew that sushi I was busting, and I'm not gonna fuck with it. That's, that's why it. it's a crazy. I'm telling you, hilarious. What if you find out you like 10 percent black? What you doing? Well, what am I supposed to do? Like, hey, let me throw a party. You gotta come to like a Black Lives Matter rally. Hey, bro, come fuck with us. And they'd be like, "What's your Does percentage?" That's... I'll be hey. like, 10 percent." No, I'm like, "Don't worry oh, about shit. it. I'm in here." What if he 20 percent black? That'd be crazy. Damn. Hey, you know what I found out? You know what I found out when I came here? 
What? I said was, we would know if he was twenty percent black. You could see twenty percent on his. Oh, somebody. we can see him. You know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what you find out today? What I find out today? Yeah. It's crazy, man. It was super crazy, man. Josh did some bullshit again, man. Josh, man, you know that He's thumbnail. Smiling. You know that thumbnail for the vlog. Oh, the one where <laughs> Trev didn't put me in that. At all? We was originally on it. For and reals? They, and they took us off, dog. Thumbnail yeah. man said he got the call and it was like, take them off. Damn. Wow. That's Josh. fucked up, well, dog. I ain't, ain't complaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were put AD in his shirt when I went with the shirt hey, with his sleeve. I'm on every thumbnail there. this week. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look. Uh, oh, this is the first go. thumbnail. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking going crazy, look. Hey, that shit look hard, though. You need to put on a shirt. For That's sure. Man, send that to me, man. It's going crazy. Hey, that was the first draft. Hey, who that did this? That was the good? first draft. Don't care, you did this. Oh, What's this nigga God. doing in the middle? This nigga whistling in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he love the middle, though. Hey, look, Even when we took the pause. picture, pause. 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 Even when we took the, the group yeah. picture, he waited for everybody to pose. He got in front of everybody. Yeah, this nigga, like, man. Hey, bro. Pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> nigga, we went pull out there up. to take pictures. These niggas both stood right in front of me on the outside. I had to wiggle my way back to the front. Like, fuck you this shit, You trying to get in front of smoke, too? Both yeah, I was though. in front of smoke, man. It's the, it's the little, yeah, it's the little subtle, the little subtle shoulder shift. Like, hold on, let me get in front this nigga. Hey, we be having a friendly com uh, competition at this motherfucker, and we got my boy Blazzy here who be designing t-shirts or whatever. We had the merch going. And I just can't, you know, it came to the realization that on a merch shirt, he spelled niggas' names wrong. He did? He spelled, <laughs> how do you spell the motherfucker that probably... Wack the most interesting. He's a whack ass designer. That's <laughs> Your whack yeah, ass you spelled niggas' names wrong. Gary, 100%. Yuri, and he spelled yeah. my nigga name. Right? I know that's a star, what I'm saying. Man. Yuri's a star, man. Whoa. Yuri's a star. Come on, Riley. Get Riley Why the mic on that? that. That's fucked up because he ain't even here to speak for himself. That's <laughs> fucked up, dog. Wow. Spelled my nigga name wrong on the shirt. They on for, they on his birthday printed week. up a thousand of them motherfuckers. Printed the motherfuckers up and sold them. And they still they trying to there. sell them right now. Now they... Hey, <laughs> hey. Our shit sold... Ow! Yeah. Hey, now you just gotta lean into it. Call it the special editions and yeah. shit. These these will never be printed again. Hey, you want one? They got a box in there. Oh man! <laughs> hey, I mean, if if y'all gifting it to me, I ain't gonna pay for no misspell shit. You on know your, what I'm saying? On your way out. I'll but you know, one. he only sitting right here because he came late. I told him to sit right here for this twenty minutes, man, I and did. fuck with it, man. Bro, nigga called you know me. Saying? I was like. He was like, "Yeah, I'm an hour late." I was like, "He was like that make me two hours late in this bitch." Damn. Yeah. Now, luckily, oh, nobody was in here. Like, I went to do roast me again. Oh, you that did, shit you did. far, fool. That yeah. shit far. Hell yeah, that shit far. I'm saying that to say you can get up whenever you want to, or you can hang with us. Oh man, I appreciate that. <laughs> Why you got kicked? I'm no, just he, saying because you know he they might have me. something. He dismissed me. No, I know what a dismissal look like, man. He's gonna beat your ass. Good to hang with you. Chill out. He wasn't. Hey, man, I'm a peaceful person, man. Don't paint. Don't paint me with. No, all like all that. I know, I'm going to leave my kids away from you. <laughs> yeah. nigga, we trying just, to get this nigga oh, deep hey, smoke ass First day of class, here. I just walk up and punch <laughs> a kid in the face and be like, welcome oh, to my oh, class. Hey, uh. hey, look, look, look at him, look. He got in front of God. everybody. <laughs> they bring out in front of Adam, too. I, I told him. Uh, I told you what he do. Y'all niggas got me fucking like up. Man. <laughs> Don't show him my baby picture in front of y'all, dog. Do it. It's oh, crazy. Josh, go to the... Bro, so we doing... You got to do it. The merch. Show him the baby picture photo. Shop at the end of the day. He did his No, grind. shop at the end of the day is done. We're out of but here. But you still can see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go to that. Go to that. That shit had me dead. Hey, thumb cut. This thumbnail is crazy. That shit would have been <laughs> Why you say thumb cut like that? Hey, thumb cut. He want to talk Spanish to his boy now. He got a homie. Look what he did with the merch. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> no, that's all our that's baby all, pictures, That's all three of us. He made himself bigger that's than everybody. hilarious, bro. <laughs> In the middle, too. Look at him. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> classic. He's like, fuck that nigga. He put a, he put a dinosaur <laughs> picture on that nigga, man. He looks surprised. I can't have a regular picture. Oh, come on. Do no drinking something. Hilarious. Yeah, man. That's my nigga baby pictures, man. Shout out my nigga D-Smoke, though. Shout hey, man. Much love. I'm going to go man. ahead and step away. Yeah, get saying. your ass up out of here, I'm man. I'm gone, man. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, man. Good boy, seeing you, I said, man. I ain't seen you since Chuck shit, man. That oh, shit was fun. We had a good ass time. Yeah. We had a good he ass time. He be partying with all, everybody except us. Nigga, he never invite us to shit. Nigga, you don't leave the house. I invite you to all type of shit. You be like, no, nah, man, I'm kids, My man. boy, man. My G. Appreciate my you, man. Absolute pleasure. Hey, shit, but it's let me know when you go to that LFC game. I want to come. Oh, that shit was fun. I know, but I seen that one time. I was like, I'm going to go say what's up. They're like, nah, nah, he busy. 
Oh, you was up there? Yeah, yeah I was up there. They do it like that. No, 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 not these small. Hey, no, I ain't do that. No, no, not these small. Not these small. Y'all trying to play me? Y'all trying to play me? You see, you see, they trying to play me? Whoa! No, not these small. He didn't do that. No, no, no. What happened was they was like, "Hey, do you want to say what up to Duno?" I was like, "Nah." I was just fucking with you. I was just fucking with you, dog. Now it was a good time, bro. Hit me, my name Connector. Boom, bam, boom, bam. We gonna do it just like that. My boy, Inglewood. Y'all have a good time. Sure. Nice having my boy. That was tight, man. That's a good one right there. Man, his interview, we 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 could have went two hours if he wasn't late. I ain't lying. I squeaked. <laughs> I'm telling you, I had to ask the gang and shit real quick. Riley you know in the camera. Whoa. Riley, how you feel about them misspelling your name wrong? You Riley just said you well, you unplugged the plug it back in, Riley. Plug it back yeah, in. Tell we us how you tell us how you sit down. Riley, sit down. Riley, Riley, sit down. Riley, 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 all I was going to say was like that. <laughs> that I thought it was a joke when they mi misspelled his name. That was so uh, I thought uh, it was like they were like using fan art or something. And then I saw it and I was like, damn, they really did that. That's but was Yuri mad? Was no, he, he this didn't. This bitch ass niggas keep playing with me over here. He didn't care, I don't think. <laughs> but, was, Riley, how was Hawaii? It was so much fun. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> get, out of here. get your shit. Get out of here, man. <laughs> man, we should have Gina sit in. Fuck it. Nah, get Gina ass up out of here, too, man. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. It was a crazy weekend. Look at Riley. She had a nervous. She can't take it off. She taking it off. Kelvin got her. Kelvin got her. Hey, Kelvin, sit down. <laughs> I gotta tell y'all about Kelvin yesterday. Sit what you sit down, Plug Kelvin. it back up, niggas. It's up. Plug it. I gotta, I gotta tell, tell y'all about Kelvin yesterday, Plug bro. Plug it up. What he was doing. So we do, I ain't gonna say nothing, but we do the Patreons, right? And the girl was like, <laughs> Why you laughing like this? <laughs> <laughs> I already know how he's messing He's out there trying to say something. He's got no bitches. Hey, listen. He's got the. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> no, go ahead, tell it. Tell hey, it. I was proud of my boy, man. What'd he do? He walking around the office and bro, he grabs some it's, titties. It's two, yeah. it's two naked girls. It's two naked girls where y'all sitting. You feel okay, me? They okay. butt ass naked on y'all seats. Chairs. In those chairs. And they're like, why'd you go so in on that? Like, you just know, you're sitting on some shit. And then, <laughs> and then they point to Kelvin. They're like, who is he? He's so sexy. And Kelvin's just like, Man, just leave me alone, girls. Yeah. They're like, no, Kelvin is beautiful. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, would y'all fuck Kelvin? They're like, hell yeah, we'll fuck Kelvin. Like, they was on this nigga the whole time they was here, bro. Did he fuck? No, I'm on, I'm on the clock. Did you take him home afterwards? Undisclosed information. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, get Kelvin, Kelvin. Kelvin. Get Kelvin ass off the yeah. damn bike, man. Hey. Then I sent my little brother over there with him. I seen your little brother looking crazy as a motherfucker. He I never smiled. Nigga, he that never smiled. He was like, smiling. <laughs> I was like, nigga, look a nipple. He was like. <laughs> he licked it? <laughs> he licked the nipple. He licked the nipple? He oh, licked the nipple. Oh, shit. This shit is grimy out here. This shit is grimy out here, bro. Bro, this shit's crazy, bro. Man. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That meme they did of T-Rail dancing, the one he said to the to group Iggy? chick. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Bro, they bullying you now. They bullying me, man. They bullying me. Y'all stop bullying me. I'm going to start reporting y'all pages, bro. <laughs> y'all got me fucked up. That's crazy, bro. They out here bullying me. I was going up all weekend, though, man. I was kind of viral, man, but I was viral for the wrong shit. Wow. You know what I'm saying? All the little whole little shit going on with the... <clears throat> It's still going on with the little C-Mac shit. It was going crazy. I'm like, this shit is wild. But I only brought that up because <coughs> one video that I did see uh, with um, his ex, what is his name? ODM, ODM Slim. ODM, ODM Slim. Slim. Sorry. I've I, seen that shit. And I was just talking to you. How I'm going to forget your name. ODM Slim. I did see his video, and I did respect a lot of shit that he was saying. And take it upon myself being a real nigga, I hit the nigga. It's powerful though. You know what I'm saying? So y'all might see a nigga talk to this nigga here. We gonna see it up. We gonna try to see you. DP, 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 DP. But yeah, we might chop it up. I'm talk to him. He 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 with it. I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was is grown. One, was, but I felt like what he was saying was just really, you know, it was cool. It's respectful. And I fuck with it. Was that one, what that one might be a little too close to home? 
Um, that one is gonna be fifty times more crazier than, than Jay, Jay, Jay Stone shit. Yeah, that, that, what, uh, which that, I'm asking because yeah. I know obviously Juvenile Hard, you know the, the history and shit like that. But that's why I'm asking. Was that it shit where, be where you like kind of like? Never. Like yeah, type yeah, 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 yeah. That's I, like a, that's I, no, no, no. I, yeah. I get it. I, I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. I had texted him. And he texted me back, and then I was like, I ain't even to be texting you, nigga, and all. I'm like, what's the deal, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's the deal? We chopped it up, blah, blah, blah. He, I understand what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? He understood what he's saying. He was like, shit, yeah, let's chop it down, nigga. It's nothing. I'm like, for sure. I'm I, like, nigga. I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm real proud of you for doing shit like this. Yeah, yeah man. can I be? That's nah, because y'all don't understand, bro. If, if nobody in the camera knows, Y'all joke around with this shit, but where T-Rail's from, like, certain individuals, they ain't never supposed to talk, no, I get cross it. paths, none of that shit. And it takes strong-minded individuals to sit there and chop it up like that, bro. If you a level-headed motherfucker, I want to fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy. Like, when I spoke to him or, you know what I'm saying, I, and I was looking at all these, like, you know, uh, YouTube pages and all of this shit, and I was running into a gang of neighborhood niggas that rap, and I was like, damn, these niggas hard. Like nigga, it's a gang, and nigga, you know what I'm saying? And like, and I know some of them niggas probably wouldn't hit me or nothing like that. But if y'all want to hit me, nigga, hit me. You feel me? Like, cause I don't know none of you motherfuckers. So if y'all want to hit me, hit me. You know and that's genuine chop it down. too. He ain't yeah. lying about that. We could definitely chop it down. You a real and big see person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, this is where I'm at. This is what you got to use this platform for, for the greater good of this shit. Like, we ain't finna be sitting around here. Being mad and doing all this shit and dissing niggas and doing all that weirdo ass shit, nigga. You feel me? Like niggas is trying to fuck with their family, take care of their kids, nigga. Go on vacation, do it up. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with bitches if you're single. You feel me? And do that. You feel me? We ain't supposed to be sitting here doing bullshit. You feel me? So yeah. Clap it up with Tiny Cub. That's real. That's real dope, man. That's what I like to hear, man. Yes, sir. That's still what I like grimy, to... motherfucker. Still grimy, but yeah, still yeah, grimy. yeah, 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 man, yeah. Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but that's bro. Shit like that be like, damn, man. There's certain individuals, I'm like, I don't know if I could ever do anything with them. Like, Just the individual, you know what I'm saying? But some people are are bigger than that, though. I know. 100%. Some people are level-headed. That'll holler at you. And then like, when I say politicking, this is like, you know, level four yard, level three yard politicking that we got to holler at these niggas anyway. And if you do some weirdo shit and all the whole little shit, niggas will get at you. So, you know what I'm saying? Why not bring that right here, you feel me? And then use that shit for the greater good or whatever, you know? And I know other niggas want to promote their shit and get their shit off the ground, too. You feel me? Duno, <laughs> would you uh, like Wait. interview an enemy go? You younger, though, bro, so it's No, different. yeah, no. I ain't going to lie to this day. I, man, I was just talking about this shit with my mom. like, Because my mom not like... She in tune to all the shit. I was like, like she knows, like, cause bro, fuck it, bro. I used to catch tags. She see my shit get slashed or like, but like, there's motherfuckers that like I would probably never, cause they be in my comments to this day, like, shit, bro. My homie, Ma, rest in peace. They be like, fuck your homie, rest in peace. Nah, shit. that's out. Like you know, oh, there's and on, no, but listen, nah. but listen, but that's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers like that is like I have fools I don't get along with that they not like main main, so I wouldn't give a fuck. Like if they pop off and let's just say he cracking. And he cracking, cracking, and and Adam like, oh bro, I'm gonna interview this person, and, and I know I could probably do. It. I'll probably be like, all right, come on, we might have to put this. Shit. But but you're that's I know <laughs> I know because bro, like juvenile hall, I, like I'm in motherfuckers from your side and they side, and I know how serious this shit was. Like that's why I asked you, like for you to do that, for you to even have a car, for you to even think about having a conversation, already shows what type of person you are, what type of person you've become. Because I'm pretty sure younger you would have been like. Fuck no. But that's the thing too. Yeah, like that. you know what I'm T Rail. I wouldn't. I, right now in my state of mind right now, fuck no. T Rail's a is an OG. Like he's no, a real OG. No, I know. No, <laughs> no. But no, not, not like <laughs> not, not like that, bro. But like, nigga, like you somebody, bro, who's elevated, but you like honestly, what's happening right now on the streets ain't nowhere close to when you was on the streets, nigga. That shit was yes, yeah. way worse. Oh, yeah, he was bro, you were literally in wars. Yeah, that, shit yeah, was, yeah. that shit was different. It wasn't. It wasn't none of this being able to talk, do anything like that. So I mean, right now it's gonna be people like you that people look up to and be like, "Damn, he did that." You're breaking barriers. You're breaking barriers. He bridged the gap. He's doing that shit. I want to sit there and do that. And that take somebody to get older, have children, travel the world, make a different type of money to make them type of. I mean, decisions. niggas think it's funny because we doing the podcast, or whatever. And I ain't on the street like fucking Farrakhan, but bitch, I'm trying to use whatever I got, like nigga. 
my homies is rap, nigga. I'm going to bring them through. You feel me? Like, y'all be, oh, you go hear another Hoover, nigga. You goddamn right. That nigga trying to get out of there, feed his family, nigga. These niggas is still on the street. These niggas is really on figure Roar on Hoover. These niggas, I'm really interviewed, is really in, still in the trenches trying to do their thing. They got a few views on YouTube, but why not fucking help out? You know what I'm saying? And, I ain't gonna and lie. be there. You feel me? And I ain't going to lie. Them, <laughs> them interviews are dope because you touch, like, you obviously... From the same hood, but y'all could relate so much. Like that poke interview was fire, even though he was a little faded, a little too faded. But that was fire. That shark interview was fire too. Like yeah. a lot of those interviews, I was like, oh damn, T Rail really a motherfucker. This is the first time I seen T Rail use a paper. He yeah. had like he had like questions lined up. I was like, yeah. this motherfucker study. No, I ain't gonna lie. That shit just lit a fire on my eyes. Y'all ain't even gonna lie, pop. <laughs> Nigga, from day from day one, yeah. he, he's he's always been bro one of takes. The best. Everything that he do on here is super, super serious. That's why he's successful. That's why that's why my homie is a little sensitive, because sometimes he feels certain individuals. That's why you got an elevator in his house. Don't <laughs> don't take <laughs> don't take all this shit as serious as he doing and stuff like that. But you know, it's inspiring because it makes you get on your shit more like damn, the homie over there doing this. Like, I'm gonna keep a G. The merch shit wouldn't even went crazy if it wasn't for him designing the shit. And shout out to Pun, like that was sitting there, they was going back and forth. I'm like, damn man, I gotta get on my shit more too. Cause them niggas is over here going X Y Z and making this shit hard. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit dope. Yeah, though, man. And everybody crazy. Another shout out. Shout out AD. You my know, guy. We, my guy put us in the right position. You feel me? Oh, we do a little something new. Yeah, we signed some shit. Did you get your? Did you sign this shit? Yeah, you, you can't talk about it. I ain't signed it. <laughs> <laughs> I signed I this signed shit. Signed I can't talk about it. Lie. I seen the post today of the fucking uh, what's the shit when they go cut? What's oh, that yeah. shit called? I seen the trailer. I, no, not the trailer, but like the what's the shit called? When they close to the directors and Fucking shit. Fucking the clean slate. When they say the slate. What's that shit the slate called? Thing. The slate, yeah. I seen them post that today. I was like, ooh, ooh. the homie's about to be oh. It's about to be lit. Yeah, he, I told me, he told me the end of the month. He told me the end of the month. I told you that. You was getting stressed out. Remember, I'm doing this no, show. No, no, I told you I wasn't. I was, I, I, he told me the end, end. Look, he told me. I was, he said, AD, you fucking set me up. He said, you up. good. He said, you good. But I'm saying, I just wanted to send that text and shit on niggas in the group. <laughs> Stop <laughs> I'm in the movie. I'm hey, in the hey. movie, bitch. You niggas ain't in no movie. <laughs> nah, bro, I'm doing this shit Monday. Damn! Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Motherfucker, you gotta go get them shots, stupid. You gotta get the shots. These bro. niggas want me to get shots. vaccinated to, to be, be in, in a movie. movie. You have yes. to get it. If I don't there's know. any no, reason, no, shit. If there's no, any no, reason no, to get like vaccinated, to nah, no, they bro. Did it, hey, you know, that's yeah. different. Cause, 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 look, look. What information I'm, did y'all no, send them? No, I was no. You have to go at they doctor. You have to go to they site. No, and when you get there, you gotta do some more shit. Look who asked for it. Oh! Hey, tell me if I'm lying, cause he. AD, no, look, look who they the prison that asked for it, right? Yeah. What if I take that shit and pass out right there? <laughs> what are you afraid of? <laughs> Passing out, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You're what if like, my, my body don't take it? You scared of needles? <laughs> <laughs> what if I just start shaking at that motherfucker? <laughs> First thing I'm gonna say is I told AD, nigga. <laughs> I told Adam, stupid bitch. I ain't gonna lie, but it's certain things that you gotta take the risk for. For a movie. You gotta do it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I took the booster when they when I read this shit. I was like, <laughs> you took I, the booster? I told my mom, I was like, damn, what if I, man, what if hey. I said fuck me up? She's hey. like, she, hey, man, you know, my mom be like, it's not a movie. It's for, it's for a movie. Go get, go right now, go right now, go right now. And then I did my appointment. I want to go take this shit easy. Get the fuck out. Hey, did your mom like hear me saying she was beautiful? Transform bitch into an alien. What? Did your mom hear I said she was beautiful? No, motherfucker. Why are you asking? So, bro, you, you gotta get the fuck out of here. This, topic. this nigga no, crazy. Not, what? You gotta finish for my mom. <laughs> And you trying to hug niggas mamas and shit, dog. Oh, you got to get out with this nigga. You no, he sent me He sent me the, the DM and said, that's AD's crush. <laughs> oh, you yeah. got to get out with this nigga, bro. Bro, 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 I posted my mom for Mother's Day. They like, oh, shit, AD crush. He was right. I'm like, you freaking motherfucker. I'm going to stop posting my that's mom. That's a compliment. Motherfucker, fuck you. Hey, you see I was clowning uh, uh, Adam, nigga, about the title, about the food shit. He ain't, he stinky slick. That was his homie bagel thing, huh? Hey, I ain't going to Lie. That the was his homie was bagel he truck. Tried, uh, he tried to house phone us. He the said, biggest, the, he the said, best bagel he truck told ever. Me, he was like, what do you think the show be me, you, and do know? Oh, no, he ain't do that. He ain't do that. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm this is his second lying. show, I'm no. Lying. I'm no, lying. you ain't lying. I'm this lying. Nigga I'm lying. lying. This nigga I'm lying. I'm lying. He ain't lying. This nigga Adam is a fool, bro. You going to do the shit with us tonight? Yeah, I'm good. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. We sit just around. I'm like, damn. We gonna eat like a motherfucker tonight. So I, man, I haven't ate since like twelve, bro. Oh, you been fasting? 
Nah, but uh, you feel me? I want to watch bro. Nah, but bro, I, I ain't gonna, <laughs> look. I ain't gonna lie, but when we did, I'm a sure. I went home like this. I almost passed out. I was like, bro, but that's, but that's trying to eat that nah, shit. Nah, hey, AD, bro. I'm how much you he, he, he went. He went. I ain't gonna lie, but my homie worked there. He's like, yeah, bro. I seen your homie that wanted to say hi, but they was acting a little Hollywood. Never. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was about to say, I was about to say, don't do him like that. Never with the gloves on. You grimy. With the gloves on, that's grimy. He ready to fight. Hey, no, but I can't have my fingerprints on this shit. Shout out to Chef Val because <laughs> Chef Val got, she got like fucking 10 restaurants lined up for us. Ooh. So we're going to be going around. So shout out to Chef Val. She joined us tonight too. Chef, the one tonight, what kind of so restaurant is it? So you're bringing another chef. To another chef to shit. To another chef shit. But she plugged it. No, she plugged it. Oh, she, she plugged, plugged it. Yeah, she, you cold, dog. We she going, cold. We, and then we talking about going out of town some places too, some nice places too. Oh. I, I ain't going to lie this. We hungry shit got a bunch of trucks hit me up in restaurants like, oh, can yeah. you pull We got to do burger guys, man. We got to do burger guys. We got to do burger guys. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit this nigga, man. Yeah, shout, sure. out, shout out to my guy, Angel, too. I'm going to hit and, this and, nigga In live. the Valley, he got the best fucking tacos and burritos. In the Valley, my guy, Angel, I feel bad that I didn't even fucking do with your shit yet. Damn, that's fucked up, bro. But now everybody like, bro, come to my taco place. Come to my place. I'm oh, like, my bro, phone every died. episode ain't about Damn. to be a taco episode. Bro, bro. You got a charger? I'm like, nah, we got to switch it up a little bit. I ain't Riley, lie, Riley, Riley. She could come get it. Here he gonna fuck you up. Talking about she could come get it. I'm not. I mean, don't, oh, don't do pause, that. Don't do that. Come on, don't do bro. That. Come on, you doing too much. Man. You just you're said to get it. Fucked up, man. Hey, you ain't gonna fuck you up. <laughs> hey, but you're gonna shoot this motherfucker. Up. He was show up. You ain't even got no gun, man. How you know? You know what? <laughs> you ain't got guns. You ain't Russian, motherfucker. You got some guns. Yeah, I ain't even <laughs> you Russian. Hey, bro, you guys ever live in Russia? Fuck no. Huh? For what? Man, I'm shut just saying. dumbass up that dumbass question. How that, that was a dumbass dumb question? Hell, bro. We ever live in Russia? Bad podcasting. That's that bad was podcasting? definitely bad podcasting. Hey, you know what? I came I, I, I came to this, this place, right? I ain't going to say what place it is, but I walked in and they had a security guard. And that motherfucker need to be fired. <laughs> the Ace. nigga here? <laughs> his ass. Hey, D. If that's his hey, last man. day, I don't give a fuck if he hear me. He got to get his ass up out of here, Fuck that nigga. He didn't greet me. He didn't. I'm, you didn't even know who he was. No, nah, I'm he like, he was hey, on his phone. Well, I'm more, Chipotle. Hold on, hold on. I'm more secure. <laughs> I'm more secure than you, nigga. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me tell you. you. Hey, so I put up. He on the phone. He see me get out. I think he recognized. Then I work here and he's like, let me call you back. And then he didn't even greet me either. He just walked in. He walked in before me. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I walked past some nigga like this. He was sick. He's looking at me. I was like, look. Like, and you looking down because this big ass shit down. That's it. <laughs> Josh, so mad right now. <laughs> Adam, you stupid bitch. I know you're watching this, you <laughs> fucking dog. Oh, I'm gonna run all these motherfuckers yeah. out of here. Oh, uh, he, he, he can't even run out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is crazy. He's the bitch. Hey, that hey, nigga twenty one ninety nine a day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, and then I touch you around. Hey, but I touch you around. I'm like, I'm like, hey, bro, you seen this shoe? He has the fuck, fuck first thing I saw, girl. That shit was bad. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I came in. I was like, I got, I had to pee. I was like, who the fuck in the bathroom? Oh boy, he was taking the shit. He taking the shit. Oh, that nigga took it out, bro. Oh, this nigga taking oh, the shit. Oh my mama. How you come to work, take a shit at hey, work hey, and eat Chipotle? Hey, oh my mama, I had to go around the corner and pee. I ain't never had to do that. <laughs> oh, AD, hey, that's why I couldn't find you, but they told me you, oh, you were in right there. Hold up, listen. Hold up, listen. Hold up, listen. Hold up, Josh. Josh, listen, bro. Right now. Fuck it, right now, right before the show started, there was an like ADs in there. I knocked and then I told, um, fuck it, these small manager, I'm like, AD in there. You're like, nah. Bro walked on <laughs> like this, barely picks in his pants. I was like, <laughs> oh. hey, Adam. Get on, get, you, you talk on the mic every other time, but today, <laughs> motherfucker, get hey, on hey, the hey, Talk who, on there, who, dog. What you doing? Hey, you HR. He went through your channels. It, it, I, today you know what? was a trial. You know what? I'm not even. I'm not even gonna blame it on you, cause that I think Jason hired that nigga, bro. Cause I was like, "Are you? Are you Samoan?" He's like, "No." I was like, "Are you Hispanic?" He's like, "No." I'm, I'm 20% like, African. He was like, "I'm Filipino," and, and I just looked over at Jason like, "You hired him, motherfucker. You ain't slick, nigga." Adam, that one was bad podcasting. But damn, dog. Damn, that's bad, bro. Fuck. When are we gonna find a real security? Some would say talking about our security here is bad podcasting. No, it's not. Let him come here. Nah, <laughs> because he got a gun and then him. Why? Who got one? But that's why I got gloves. Uh, bad on. podcasting, not bad super podcasting. Bad. No, he's certified. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, T-Rail, You fuck. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs>
Jesus Christ. Fuck. Shit, bro, what y'all do this weekend? Yo mama. Oh. Nah, nah, I'm just playing. AD did your mama. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yo mama. Whoa. I'm just adding add to the joke. And your mama. I, whoa. Whoa. See, you don't like that. <laughs> My mama nigga. <laughs> Were you one of the people that got mad like on your mama jokes? I got down with a nigga in fifth grade because he said, Yo, mama, I'll beat the shit out of that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to run. I tripped him. You know how you trip a nigga? <laughs> you put your head in like leg. Like yeah. We was crying for a little minute, but I, I had went home. And my mom was like, Why do you, you keep finding me because of that? Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. They don't know me. And I was like, You're right. Nah, it's certain mama. shit, though. And what's the word joke you ever said? Mama. Like, that you should have not said and you're like damn now we gotta get down with the homie like you ever told your homie a certain joke where you were like I went a little too far yeah I did what you say I said something about his mama dying or something oh, why would you do that you're such a piece of shit it was something in there it was <laughs> I felt like it was funny no but it wasn't really funny about was, somebody dying no but it was like was she was, already dead but my homies, my, I'm telling you, if you really get, like, if you end the jokes with my homies, like, these niggas, these niggas be saying wild shit. About dead mamas? They, they be like, nigga, yeah, like, your auntie died. It's, it's crazy. I can't even explain it. <laughs> no, explain it. I can't explain, explain it. You got to be in I the moment. That one. But I, I Yeah, but if my mom dead and you mentioned my mom dying. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to take you off. Dead. <laughs> no, you dead. I got to go. I mean, but I used to say some wild <laughs> shit. Like, I was a wild nigga, and I, and I didn't understand. I was a wild nigga, and I used to be crazy. And sometimes I was annoying. I was fun to be around, but at the same time, I was loud. I was annoying. Play too much. I didn't give a fuck. You know, I'm at a hundred percent. And when I was at a hundred percent, it was bad. What percent you at now? I'm only like 30, 40 percent. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not even charged up. My shit probably still red. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and Wait, it was so crazy. what you say? So what you say? I feel like I'm at forty right now. What you mean? To your army? What you say? He just said forty. I just said something. Mama. No, no, he he wasn't specific. Oh. Also. I just said something about his mama did or something about her ass or something, whatever the case may be. But it was fucked up. I was like, damn, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, what did he say? He looked at me too like, bro, I should kill you. <laughs> but I was like. That's definitely some then, shit But I was like, him. it was just one of them looks like, I know I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> My bad. Cause. But it was one of the ones, but we was real homies. But I was really, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was irritating. I was so irritating the homie over here, right? He didn't even invite me to his wedding, cuz. That's what? one of my best friends right here Who? with the beard, cuz. You know invite you to the wedding? Cut it, invite me to his wedding. Cut. Man, hey, get your ass out of here, nigga. <laughs> Why he yeah, invite you to his man, wedding? Get your ass out of here. <laughs> you, you and security get the fuck out, nigga. <laughs> we gonna hey, invite you to his wedding. He's like, man, this nigga crazy. This nigga got married. You for and sure he was knew, hot. He knew I would have been like, this nigga got married. Ah, fuck that nigga. You know, I would have been clowning and shit. Niggas don't feel like hearing that shit all the time. You feel me? So. I was irritating, cuz. Bro, I got mad the homie didn't invite me to his baby shower. I, I took it personal, bro. Why? I, Why I the would, fuck would you want to go to a baby shower? It's not, because it's no, your you homies. gotta go to the nigga's no, this baby is, shower. No, this is one of my guys, and I called the homies. I'm like, hey, where niggas at? They're like, we at the homie baby shower. Oh, oh, I was like, oh, you didn't get invited? That's how I feel about cut wedding. That's how I know. That's how I know. You take it, <laughs> you, you take it personal. <laughs> Nobody was there. Niggas was there. You didn't, that nigga, my homie JB, was like, hey, you know that nigga married. I was like, who married? I had to be like, he didn't even, even tell you you proposed? Nothing! JB won't even talk to him right now. He's been going on for 30 years. Wait, why won't JB talk to him? What you do? I Keep a G. I was what I was just saying, cuz I'm annoying. <laughs> what did you do? Though? I believe that. No, but no, he a Jehovah Witness, man, and he probably just feel like <laughs> What did you say? What did you say to this man? <laughs> no, what did nigga, you say to this man? I ain't gotta say that. I know you know what it is. What you I ain't gotta say that he just know nigga crazy, bro. What you talking about his mama too? No, hell no, nigga. He just know I'll be crazy, I'll be saying shit, you know, he 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 with the holy, you know, he with God, cuz. What what do he do? I ain't do shit. He was grimy. Damn. Damn. Hey, That's gonna, why he invited you to his wedding. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna have a homie that recently went from to the Jehovah Witness side, and I was talking to him. He lived in the homie's building. He tried to get you? No, nah, no. Nah, we were just chopping it up, and I was like, "Hey, is he me? black? No, he's not black." I was. I ain't never met a Mexican Jehovah Witness in my life. What do you life. mean? There's yeah, motherfucker. It's yeah, a lot. It's a lot, dog. I yeah. always see niggas, bro. No, there's a lot oh, of Jehovah just Witness. Just niggas? I swear. Nah, it's a lot of people. There's a lot of yeah, and then There's I was a lot like, of Kingdom Hall and like, like, bro. like Christian Jehovah Witness, all that, and then I was like, "Hey, for what made you go over there?" He's like, 
honestly, I went and 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 like he was like God guided me there, and I was just I was like I didn't laugh at that. You and then, to laugh no, at no, that? I didn't want to laugh. You sound like Adam thing. yesterday. Bruh. What did Adam say? Because we was me and Housefather, house, we believe in God and stuff like that. He's just like you believe in Josh over there too, like clowns. Well, Josh is Jewish. Can't be mad at Josh. I don't think Josh believe in nothing. I don't. See? You're right. No, but yeah, when he was telling me, I was like, like, so the rest of the homies were trying to avoid the conversation, kept like, oh, fool, we're going to smoke over here. And I was like, nah, fool, if that's you, pero, that's you. I'm like, but do you ever miss just kicking it, fool, like getting drunk? And we used to like turn up. We used to beat up on fools together in high school. He's like, nah, man, I'm with the Lord now. I'm with God. And I was like, damn, motherfucker. I thought one motherfucker told me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> nah, but I thought I was Jesus like, Christ. but I told him, I'm like, that's good for you, fool, like if that's your thing. And he's like, have you ever thought about it? And then I thought the conversation was going to get it. And I was like, <laughs> he was like I'm out of here. And I was like, look, bro, I believe in the Virgin Mary. And you feel me? She was like, he's like, that's you. And then, you know, but I thought I thought it was cool to see somebody, you know, do their own thing. Something that's not usually, you feel me, normal and shit. But I was like, that's you, pero, do your thing. You know what I mean? Damn, bro. Yeah, but I miss my homie sometimes. I miss him. I be missing him a lot, man. He taught me how to do a lot of shit. What did you do to him to not talk to you? He just turned over to to God, man, and you just can't be. So you, you know, the devil then? <laughs> he don't want to be around you. Yeah, That's basically, huh? Me. You see, he still call your homie. Wow! Hey, did you invite him to the wedding? No. <laughs> man, this is a hard wedding to get to. <laughs> My nigga, fear. You invited you, the, the Jehovah homie? Nah, nobody. Man. That nigga cuss. <laughs> So you're making a big deal about not going to his wedding and nobody went to his wedding. Yeah. He full of shit. No, his sister's <laughs> brother. Mm, I was his brother. I okay. thought it was his brother. I ain't gonna lie. If one of you motherfuckers get married and don't invite me, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna pull For up to sure. the. I'm gonna pull up to the wedding like T. Real, get your stupid ass over here. I'll fuck you up in front of y'all. That's <laughs> fucked up, right? Yeah. If you, it wasn't no big wedding, bro. It was like some Vegas shit. Like she just went. To oh, you can't. And then went out to eat and shit like that. It was like nah, it was a special day, and this is your homie, bro. <laughs> You a cold nigga. He a cold nigga. Yeah, nah, you a cold nigga. What's your name? Markel? Is this on your shirt? That nigga named Fear. That nigga named Markel tonight, nigga. Fuck you. Hey, you know what his real name? His real name is Enrique. You know what I'm saying? That's your homie. Stop bullshitting me. Nigga, fuck you. You know what his real name is? His real name is Enrique. You know what I'm saying? That's your homie. Stop being like that. That's your cousin, fool. Spell Enrique. E N R I Q U E. Oh, Enrique. That's so racist. <laughs> so racist. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Did you, fuck, have you ever thought about what you gonna name your next kid? Enrique. Tiny kid. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Tiny kid. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga brother named Jesus, cuz you know how oh, Chewy. Be. Yeah, you, love, you like Chewy. Huh? Oh, that's Chewy, brother? Yeah, that's They look alike, though. Yeah. She was a couple of my godson of Chewy. She named Jesus. For real? Yeah, his name's Chewy. Well, we don't call him Chewy, we call him Jesus. What you gonna name your kid? You should fuck with Chewy. Fucking Tiny Cut. <laughs> hey, you should put Chewy on your hood. What? I think y'all be cool friends. Bro, shut the fuck up, dumbass. Y'all would, bro. He cool. I want to interview the, the, the guy that won't talk to you no more. <laughs> oh, no, what did yeah. T-Rail do to you? He's like, he with the guy, he don't talk to T-Rail no more. He wouldn't even come up I'm here. like, what? This whole shit is the devil. <laughs> it low key is though. You talking Adam? That nigga Adam asked me. God. Adam asked me. He said, "Where do you think I'm going?" I said, "The hell!" I said, "The demon's gonna be hitting you from the back." <laughs> Whoa! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, oh. give me just give me a little bit in context. Why you don't believe in God? Because Adam don't. Can we not do no, this conversation? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I have never been in this conversation. Adam don't. Because Adam, 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 Adam don't. That. Oh, so you following Adam? No, I am not Dick following Adam. Dick Ryan, Adam. <laughs> Adam. Dick I guess you're not gonna you, find out. Tell him, tell him, shut the fuck up. That's why, that's why, homie over there didn't invite you to a wedding. You wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I grew up religious, Jewish, until I was 13. I got a bar mitzvah, and then I got to a point where I think everyone does, where you question how real is all this shit you've been force fed, and <clears throat> when you think about it, what? there's a whole lot of storytelling. So if you want to say this is the one story that you want to believe in, cool. But there ain't, like, it's just stories. Like, there's no one divine power. And a lot of people have a different opinion about that. My opinion is if you believe in that, you're kind of susceptible to believe in a lot of easy shit because you can disprove a whole lot of that. That is just one higher being. Yes. And I told them yesterday... How do you think that we was created? You think we just popped up out of nowhere? I love that humans. The, I love that the white man is just you know 
discontinuing the Bible because they <laughs> wrote that motherfucker. So, <laughs> I, you know, they. That you know what I'm not, so that the Bible's the one true religion, right? Adam ain't never getting a Kanye interview. It was out. <laughs> oh, it's over. Like, hey, so you over. guys think Jesus is black or white? Jesus? Yeah. Jesus Christ had dread, so shake him. You know that song? <laughs> no, I don't know that song. Damn, you that old? I mean, young? He keeps talking to this nigga. I'm telling you, he real young, dog. Wait, wait, wait. So you guys think he's black or white? Honestly, I don't care. He was I, black and Jewish. Tush. So you know who these <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe Josh. <laughs> Come on, I don't Josh. think it matters. I just know that there's certain incidents in my life where God didn't looked out for me plenty of times, and I pray every day. Spiritual. I'm gonna continue to believe that. I'm gonna continue to move how I'm moving. I mean, so when something's going wrong in your life, like what do you do? Just go in a corner and scream, or what the <laughs> fuck you do? Like you don't shoot up a school. Let me go and pray. Let me go beat like, off. Be, yeah. You know, God man, he's gonna help me, man. We gonna get through this. Or like, what do you do? <laughs> what do you think the purpose of life is, Josh? That's a really good question. I think the purpose of life is for it to continue. That's it's kind of stupid. No, it's not. To, to continue? So then what's your purpose? So what's the purpose what's of life? Your purpose? I, think, I think that we're all here to help each other, bro, on some real shit. It's just corny. It's not corny. Look, I, I told him yesterday too, right? No matter what religion that you guys think that anybody believes in, right? We got a moral compass. We know when we're doing bad, we know when we're doing good, correct? Where does that come from? Moral compass. No, it don't come from moral compass. To me, that's God telling you you're doing something you ain't supposed to do. You're doing something that you're supposed to be doing at the end of the day. It feels good when you do nice things for nice people. You know what I'm saying? When you do shitty shit to people, you will feel bad about that at the end of the day. So you think aliens brought us here? Like, how do you think, like... Uh... I don't think aliens brought us here. I think... <laughs> We evolved from single cell organisms. From the grass? <laughs> <laughs> from bacteria in the ocean, yeah. Okay, so where'd the ocean come from? The ocean came from moisture in the atmosphere over Where'd time. the moisture in the atmosphere come from? Somebody created that too. The planet, the sun, the Big Bang, all of these events caught... I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Look, look, look. To all I believe this. in God and the Virgin you, Mary. If you don't but, want to but a lot of the shit Josh is saying, a lot of people would agree with him. You could, I mean, you could question some of the shit. So you just gotta believe in what you want to believe yeah, in. But 100%. this is one good question: mm -hmm. flat or round Earth? That's not a question. I think you want to answer here. You're such a dumbass, T. Rail. Look at you being you the Earth is flat? You a flat earther. No, but you've been in a plane. I had. <laughs> I'm talking about. I had a two-hour argument with a motherfucker that thought the earth was flat. I believe it. For Kyrie Irving thought the world, the world was flat. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe it. And I said, damn, if the earth's flat, I'm like, go to the end and fall off that motherfucker. So stupid. And he was like, no, the... It's too much ice right there. <laughs> Some shit. I'm like, what? You be talking crackheads on big. You, it was, it, it was <laughs> crazy. Tripping, I'm man. like, bro. Stop talking to them prostitutes, man. What's wrong bro, with you? It was crazy, <laughs> bro. I just said go to the end and fall. I mean, fuck. It's flat. Do you know how you feel about religion? I'm not like... Because you believe in ghosts because you for sure got scared by one. Yeah, bro. I believe in ghosts like a motherfucker. I think... Shit, bro. I think you, everybody has their own thing. Like, like to be honest, like, like, like I told you guys last time, I'm like... I pray more to the Virgin Mary than I do to, to God and Jesus. But see, Doo -doo. <laughs> no, no, to God and not to you. From last time when I told you guys. See, but most Christians would be like, that's wrong. God didn't have, or Jesus didn't have a mom. Like, but yo, you, ready? What's prayer? Meditation, right? You kind of focus in on what your problems are. You're nah, thinking so you do it. pray. No, I'm saying he meditate. To call it something like religion is kind of like. Josh, we're not arguing. We already, really no, you don't believe. All right. <laughs> But but I get what you're saying. But what I'm saying is like religion. I think everybody like even like growing like shit. But even having homies that are Muslim, the the some of the shit is kind of wild to me. Like I think Ramadan wild. Like I think it's crazy. But but you respect people's beliefs and what they think. Like like I said, bro. A lot of Christian people won't agree that I pray to the Virgin Mary. You did know, you, I mean? did you get the breakdown of the Ramadan? Yeah, yeah, bro. I've, I've had plenty of Muslim friends. I'm like, I've His learned. One, hey, come here, come here, chief. His one right here. His no, yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent, yeah. Cause fucking my homie Jakarta, his bro, his dad runs a mosque. What's the pur What's the purpose of Ramadan? No, no, I, if I know the purpose, it's because of the Nigga, people I that went. Know. Let no. him talk. Listen, go ahead, watch. Man, so the purpose of Ramadan is like controlling your desire. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people like throughout the year 
like sin every day, you know what I mean? You go out and go drink, you go like fucking fuck with girls, all of that, right? So to the point where when you have the 30 days of fasting, you're controlling your desire. So from, uh, from sun up, sun down, you're not eating, you're not drinking, you're not smoking, you're not fucking. So that really like pu uh, push you to the point where like you really start to get to know yourself, you know what I mean? Go back, reset yourself. And then when you don't eat, right, there's four weeks of Ramadan. Yeah. So the first week, uh, you're hungry, you feel nauseous. So to the point where the second week, you start getting adjusted to it. You're not that hungry, you're not that nauseous, but your intestines and everything starts clearing, bro. Your uh, shit starts coming out. Your, uh, <clears throat> low, uh, your upper intestines and your lower intestines start clearing out. And then the third week, you're like sharper. You have more energy. You know what I mean? I was running around having fun, for shooting my vlogs. I didn't change my life. I kept it the same. I was going to the gym, all that. By the fourth week, your whole stomach, everything recovers, you know what I mean? Your mental recovers, it's a whole thing. Like, I know it's, it's difficult, not everybody could do yeah, it. Yeah, 100%. But that's the point. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not nothing bad for you. You can't eat, you're starving yourself. Nah, bro, you're not using your, not eating all day is kind of really good for your stomach sometimes, you know what I mean? But I'm not hungry. I wasn't hungry the whole time. I would eat at night moderately, you know what I mean? And then yeah. pray, and I really reset. I really got onto my shit, you know what I mean? But yes, sir. It's about Ramadan. resetting. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. And then, and then I think it also has to do with like, um, kind of mm -hmm. like, kind of understanding what the the poor people go through too, right? The people that struggle and yeah. stuff like that as well. Yeah, yeah. So when you don't eat, it changes your mind. You yeah, know what I mean? you yeah. don't think the same. That's why a lot of people when they don't have their kitchen covered, they be doing some crazy shit. But once you get your kitchen covered, you start thinking straight and you start building and you start seeing hey, there's more to just like trying to put a part trying to put food on your table. Cause like probably 80, 90% of America right now just trying to put food on the table. The rest of us like us, we're really grateful for what we're doing. Cause we got our food set, we're filming. Yeah. We, we don't have to worry about that. But that really puts you into point of Ramadan. You're really thinking you're not eating all day. You get angry real quick. Then you like catch yourself like, damn. You know what I mean? Mm. Great, great, great point, man. Now get your ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> man, who y'all think finna be the first nigga that's gonna do Ramadan, man, out of all young thug homies? Cause somebody finna tell out them niggas. That shit, that shit crazy. The motherfuckers, 28 motherfuckers and niggas said, who y'all think they finna get out? I said, yeah, somebody finna get out. Cause out of 28 niggas, it's somebody finna tell. What? I'm not lying to you. I called in yesterday and said, it's gonna be like 70 people getting locked up. Woo. That's what I said. Yes, How the fuck he know? And why would he tell you? No, he told he told the No Jumper show. He said twenty eight people. They're all gonna have five six names each, and all of a sudden that's gonna be seventy people at the mm -hmm. end of this. You think everybody gonna snitch? That's what he said. Everybody finna start telling, dog. I mean, when then we, if you don't tell, it's just like, do y'all want a little jail time out of them, and then that's it. Like, what would you what's done? the fucking point? Keep it G. For what? If I had 70, I was up against like what? 70 years? Like 6'9? Mm -hmm. I'm telling on all you niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell on y'all niggas, man. Y'all finna go down. Don't even worry about it, man. Don't do no crimes with me. You I'm out get, the streets. You got to get back to Sorella. <laughs> I'm out the streets. Yeah, I got to get back to my family. I'm out the streets. Don't pick me up, man. You going down, bro. That's crazy, though. That's crazy. That's shit. crazy to be in there coming from all of that shit. Lavish, number one rapper. Lavish lifestyle. Niggas hopping on a jet to turn yourself in. In. Casanova took his time today too. How much, How much time, time did he get? get? They said I think from five, in between five to sixty years. What? I, I said what the fuck? So he didn't take no time. No, but I'm saying this in between five or sixty years. Can like we that. look it up, Josh? I'm like, what the? Fuck How much time he got? That's Damn. crazy. So they gave him a five a five to sixty year deal. No, 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 no. no, no that's, that's where I'm he, confused. He couldn't have got his time yet. He couldn't have got his time yet. That's no, crazy, no. I bro. think I forgot. I read the no jumper shit. I think it said that he pleaded for a deal, like like she got a plea deal or something like that. Bro, that shit just that's wild. I can't be in that predicament. Like, what the hell y'all got going on, nigga? To even do that? Oh yeah, he pleads guilty. Yeah, to drug five to sixty year prison sentence. Oh, okay, so, the, so he pled guilty, so they oh, ain't sentenced him yet. So the minimum is five. The max the is sixty. The minimum is five. The max is sixty. What you think? He gonna get like ten. Or honestly, or honestly, bro, he already, he already did, did like three, like like three years. Is it a fair case though, or is it is it regular? She just did he already That's do like three years? Case, if a fair case, damn. Shit, bro, if he already did like three years, he low key. Shit, bro, if he has a really good lawyer, they might just get like like dev time and plus like another two, three years, and he'll be out. Nah, if it's fair though. That's, oh yeah, that's that's different. 
Damn, bro. That shit's crazy, though. This going to jail and these niggas is doing this crime is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, them Rigo cases really fucking everything up. What if Meg the Stallion don't months. win this motherfucking case? Cause I seen that doctor just said that was glass. You didn't see me and Gina out. told you lying ass. Motherfucker, I seen <laughs> that shit. <laughs> nah, but that's crazy. You know what's crazy? I watched ac academics talk about it, and he was like, basically, like he ain't gonna speak about it because that's only one page of like other shit. That's what he was saying. Oh, like he ain't gonna speak on it no more from the discovery or whatever the case may be. Basically, like a lot of people ain't jumping a gun because it was more to that, basically. But that doctor didn't he come out and say he testified and said that was actually glass. He you, took out her foot. You gotta watch the academic shit. It's a lot. That's Just say it. No, it's like a lot. I oh, don't, I don't okay. fucking talk about this shit the whole time that we on here. Yeah, in. that shit is a lot. It's a that, lot. That's crazy, bro. If it was like. Shout out my nigga Tory Lanez, man. My nigga on Twitch. He doing it up. He got his shit going, man. Yeah, he going it up. He like, doing his thing, man. Yeah, I ain't going. Yeah. When it come down to that shit, man, you just got to just watch and all that. You definitely just got to watch that shit, bro. You definitely a buddy. Me personally, I've been saying from day one, I don't think my nigga did anything like that. I've been saying that from day one. Yeah, hopefully niggas ain't did no shit like that because that shit just sound crazy <laughs> as fuck. Crazy like a motherfucker. It's crazy too to see people flip flop. Cause when I used to say it, they'd be like, "You hate black women." You then when the shit come out, they like, "Oh, oh, you was right about it." And they go back, "You no, you do this." And I'm like, "Man, just wait and see, man. Shit crazy." Do, do y'all think that bitch killed Kevin Samuels? Nah, you don't think so? Mm -mm. Damn, I need the autopsy. The autopsy ain't came out yet. Hey, he God, went, he went out, about. he went out a dope way. She was bad. What's a dope way? Nigga had a heart attack on top of bitch. Oh, so he was on top of her. That's what I heard. And didn't I just say, nigga, might have been using the year and the mean pill. I mean, hey. What pill? Uh, I don't know. One of the motherfuckers. The FDA said the honey ain't... Uh, the honey said, ain't good? They said, don't take the honey no more. And guess what? I'm still going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> you be using the honey? Dumbass. You still be using I'm the honey? I'm still going to use the honey, stupid. nigga. You be using a honey, Josh? Never. I don't even know what the fuck the honey is. He don't even believe in God. I don't listen to him. <laughs> yeah, that nigga. D <laughs> and how bad was the girl? <laughs> she was nice. She was bad? I still didn't see her. Nice little Latina, I man. I didn't want to look Josh, up. can you pull her up? That shit was crazy. I just listened to the call. I was like, damn, this don't sound right. Just imagine you smacking and you just you just out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. She ain't gonna be you. able to get your fat ass up off of me. <laughs> Woo! She's smashing that nigga. She's gonna be smashing it, bitch. She might die with you. She's gonna be stupid I'm ass. They're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, fat why is one side more stiffer than the other? <laughs> 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 hey, I ain't gonna, hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was watching a show, and that shit happened on the show where like the girl was smashing like the older dude, like the drug took her tail, dude, and, and then died. and then he died, and she was panicked, like, oh shit, damn. Look, look at her. Let me see. Oh damn, she was cold. But the amount of women been celebrating this guy's death is crazy. That shit hurt Especially my feelings, this young man. Lady Vivica A. Fox. She Gina, how you feel him. about Kevin Samuels? Fuck with it. He died. I know, man. He was just talking shit, but he died. Mm -hmm. It was like he's been disrespecting black women left and right. That's what he gets. I'm like, damn. That's yeah. what he well, gets. I was happy I got to do the interview with him. Yeah, I got man. some real game from that from that interview, bro. How do you feel about niggas posting videos after he died? Like what with me in it? You know what I'm saying? Like clips and shit. I'm in it. Like Josh. I'm in it. I feel like I'm <laughs> I'm a Kevin Samuels disciple, oh, man. Oh, y'all niggas is baby Vlad over here, man. <laughs> posting the nigga fucking videos, bro. That nigga, that was fucked up, though, man. That's, a That's fucked up crazy. Situation. How old was he? He was almost 60. 50 something? Like 59. And he was getting a cracking with that girl right there? He was smacking her down. <laughs> That's bro, it. that's not a bad way to go, man. Yeah. He still went. I'm pretty sure he didn't want to go. Nah. I know no. that, but I'm just saying. There's other ways the that you can He go. probably talked to you. You told the nigga <laughs> to take the honey. And the nigga was like, fuck it. AD told me to take the honey on that one interview and fucked him up. Now he on top of a bad one. Nigga, now he gone. Yeah. I know he up there like, this nigga laughing at me. Look, God. This nigga stupid as a bitch. I should have listened to wait him up. Second, wait trying to set you up. Fuck the damn, you man. You ain't never took the honey before? I don't even know what the honey is, fool. You ain't never took no type of sex pill? I took one. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you take? Blue chew? Which a gas one? station. Which one? A, a gas station? Yeah, I took the gas station. The gas station one is bad, though. It I gave you know. headaches in the morning and all that and shit. It didn't even work. You were real 
like sex pill professional. My nigga, let me tell you something. He a real bro. sex addict too. For already know what you're gonna say. <laughs> when I was getting the cracking, I needed a sex pill. One dollar Julio rock her world and she called me back. No, but that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, the point. thing is, bro, is when you meet a new girl. You know what I'm saying? You got to lay the groundwork down. So you stop by the gas station, get the honey. I'll be like, you told me to come over? I'm getting prepared. So you take the honey before you get up, it start driving? No, you pour the honey in the liquor. Oh, Whoa, so it's like a this, drink? Yeah, bro, that's not safe, bro. It's not safe. This is the type of nigga you can hang with, man. You do just did Ramadan. I don't do it no more. fucking with this nigga. That's crazy. You poured it in the liquor? Bro, you got you wild as a motherfucker. Bro, nigga used to be on the freeway like, Shit, <laughs> <laughs> nigga <laughs> dig hard on his way over there. <laughs> nigga walk in, come here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't even trying to do no for a play. You just get right to it. You just tear her shit up. <laughs> and leave and wait for the calls. <laughs> so you ain't the type of nigga that foreplay it down. And then guess what? The second time I stroke it, she getting two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I like gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. You be doing that shit, doing that? <laughs> no, I'm just saying you be doing two minutes with your bitches. Nah, 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 nah. See, but not the first time. But I never took a pill. But not the first time. So not what the you first. doing the first time is just you know the first time at least. The first time at least over six like, minutes, over ten, at least, at over least. ten. That's over, cold. Yeah, I, I, at least, at least. But but you be going crazy. But I ain't going crazy. But I ain't like ten going crazy. But if I'm off something like that, you be lifting your leg. What well, lifting my leg? <laughs> this fat ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> He can't even do this. That nigga gotta get a cramp. You can't do it. Man, your stupid ass can't do it with your right leg, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> bitch, I got a cramp. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, but I got a cramp before. You got a While cramp? While you were smacking? While I was smacking. You never got a cramp while I was smacking? For sure. Were you like, <laughs> you was like, hold on, hold on, give me a second. Give like, me a second. Ah. <laughs> then you try to go back at it, and then you try to stick the leg out. Yeah, come back in. <laughs> try to get that motherfucking straight. Like, bitch, like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, man, I'm doing bad back here. You do know you ain't never took no sex pills. No sex pill. <laughs> Fighting on lie, bro, the army was like, damn, bro, I took a sex pill. And I, bro, that was like, bro, my shit was hard the whole time, even after I left. Bro, your shit be hard for three days, <laughs> Yeah, fool. that's dangerous, fool. Three days? Nigga, wake up in the morning, you ready to go again. That's not safe. Not well, safe. that is not safe, dog. <laughs> what? Hey, AD said, AD said, impression is everything. <laughs> That shit gotta hurt, fool. If the autopsy comes back and Kevin Samuels is on the honey and the pills, it's are you gonna stop? For you. Whoa, press the thing, press the thing. Press. Well, you said honey and the pills? That's a lot. But that's your diet. I don't even do that no more. Oh, you don't take honey no more? You don't know the long term effects of all that. Oh, so that. you two minutes it out, just two minutes. Straight nah, hell out no. the game. Hell no. Two, two to eight? Two to eight? Like two to eight. Got at least a good 15. Good 15? Yeah. It's a, it's a good night. 25. <laughs> yeah. Why do minutes count, though, homie, with, with dudes with, with sex? Like, why does it minutes count? I mean, I want my girl to get her shit off first. After that, it's whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It takes you 25 minutes to do that. No, I'm just talking oh, so in they, general. So like she, you still got to so perform. Josh, how long, how long hey. are you fucking for? Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us taken care of. Five Look minutes. Look how you said it. Both, Both of us, us taken care, care of. <laughs> Five minutes. He's like, Adam's sister, you want me to lick your ass tonight? Whoa, this nigga fucking Adam's sister for five minutes, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, hey. fuck, oh, God. Hey, hey, you ever, had, you ever had a bad day at work and you just took it out on his sister? <laughs> for the fuck your sister, like, you Mason, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> fuck your brother. <laughs> <laughs> I told Adam I need, to, in there, like, ah, nah. <laughs> I need to interview your wife, dog. I she should come here and I need to interview her. I just I need to really get it. That shit would be crazy. Fuck, bro. fuck with the guy, bro. What's the first question you're asking? I don't know, dog. I don't, I gotta think about that one. It'd you're be too crazy, two for the bro. Of one with that. You think so? You get to know all about Adam growing up. And then you get to ask her anything you want to know about me. So you kind of get... What does she bang on you? Like, I don't like the way you talk to my husband. She did that already. She did? At the kid party on Easter. 
Was Josh behind her like, I told you. <laughs> He's fuck so disrespectful. Don't fuck with us. I was over there pointing him out. It's that one. Wait, wait, wait. Don't fuck with us. He got a Jehovah Witness friend and don't talk to him no more. <laughs> Deborah shook him up. next. Deborah shook him up to you like, hey, girl, you talk to my cousin like crazy like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, what's up? You T-Rail? <laughs> <laughs> I have something to tell you. Come over here to the side if I whoop your ass over <laughs> front these fucking kids, nigga. <laughs> Damn, bro, this nigga fucking Adam's sister for five minutes. That's ain't gonna never get old, bro. That's crazy though. Mm mm mm. That is crazy. Hey, y'all did ask me what what y'all you well you asked how was your weekend, but I cut y'all off. So how was y'all weekend? My weekend was cool. You know what? I bought all new equipment this weekend. For what, motherfucker? You already got the shit. Going. I went somewhere else. Where did I go this weekend? I don't, I don't know. I'll be doing you too off much. Off the honey, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> you off the honey again, uh, bro. No, but I bought new equipment, though. For uh, what? Upgraded all my shit. Community clips, man. You upgraded again from the shit you already had? Yeah. God damn. But, I seen Adam hop on your shit trying to copy y'all now. Now he finna be. I told a nigga that. I said, shit, I ain't man. inspire you to vlog again. He said, like, I'm, the, I'm the creator of vlogging. Whoa. <laughs> I'm finna bring this channel back to life. <laughs> damn, that nigga copying y'all now. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all niggas scamming, man. <laughs> it's his fault. It's his fault. He's doing it. Thumb cut. Yeah, hey, thumb cut. Thumb cut. Hey, he over there this working one. overtime, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. See, my teeth ugly in the middle. Right here in the perfect, uh, purple, I look fine. What? I was fine right there. I was fine. Like, I just look cool. Okay. I was like, okay. Like, not fine. Like, Paul. I'm like, you've been around Heather too long. You yeah. so fine, T Real. You come here. <laughs> Heather don't like me. You know what I'm saying? She even show like you. She Nigga, like she me. was going crazy at the live show for you. How you know you was up there with me? I know a lot. I seen her. From the balcony. She's like, ah! <laughs> and I seen you was over there like, <laughs> you yeah, about bro. to cry, bro. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I to the vlog. you like, yeah, but my own green room. I was like, oh, I'm a T-Rail about to cry. All the green rooms he ever set up for Tiger. Finally, <laughs> finally, he got his own. <laughs> Dude, no, you can't talk about him. About who? The, the T-word. Man, you can do whatever the fuck you want to. Hey, you went to one of those. You, you got a little party, man. How was Cinco de Mayo? Party. Oh, that shit was a vibe. Cinco de Mayo was cool. On Sunday, we fucking celebrated Mother's Day. We let my grandma, my grandma here from Mexico. So that shit was cool. I don't really do shit this weekend, though. I took my mom in Yamashiro. Oh, you went to Yamashiro? Mm, my oh. mom, my aunties. Yeah, we finna go to that motherfucker on Thursday, man. That was a good vibe, man. I fuck with that shit, man. That I shit is a vibe. That shit, bro. Hey, who did you interview when I came up in here? Shit, I'm from Sweet Team. That shit fire. They be doing this shit. They have, they fucking vlogging. They have a dope-ass podcast. It's for them. They all, they all really good homies. Two of them are cousins. They be going crazy on the TikTok. They call Sweet Team? Sweet Team. The mm. Sweet Tea Boys, and they be going crazy. Bro, they did some shit where they took fucking 50 Spider-Mans to go watch Spider-Man. They went crazy to Ontario Mills. They went crazy. When Spider-Man first came out, like 50 other homies, they all dressed in Spider-Man suits and went over there. I the should party have them. Yeah, they went crazy with that shit. And they, and they just did a 72-hour no sleep vlog. 72 hours no sleep? No sleep. <laughs> Never. I swear to God, they did like the Yuri Live shit. Live stream? No, nah, no, nah, they did it. Just They vlogged the whole thing. Bro, Man, I don't fucking believe that. Nah, shit. nah, for real, bro. Vloggers were doing the crazy shit like that, bro. I believe it because I didn't stay yeah. here for three days for sure. Off the honey? Nah, not off the honey. <laughs> Nigga, what? Like bad anxiety. Just no sleep. No sleep. Like you can't sleep. Like nigga. Why you... did you have anxiety? Nigga I always have anxiety, fool. Why? I mean, all type of shit. Street shit, all type of shit. You ain't in no damn street <laughs> shit. <laughs> like this nigga crazy. Hey, he acting like hey, he don't hey, live nice as fuck. Hey, no, now, like, now, but I've yeah. been through a lot of stuff. You retired a lot longer than I did. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so this is back in the. No, I, I had bro, like I had all type of shit going on, fool. So sometimes I couldn't go to sleep. Like you trying to go to sleep, your eyes are closed, your mind, bro, would not turn off for nothing. It's like a TV on, fool. How did you get? Did you uh, get therapy? No, you didn't get no therapy. You ain't never got therapy? You ain't never thought about getting therapy? Not at the time, yeah. Damn. I use, bro, honestly, bro, I just started learning. Like, my homie was like, you need to start meditating. You got to learn how to fucking, you know, handle your problems the right way. That's honestly, like, when I, when I first stopped drinking, I started having the problems again, but I got through that shit. Hey, Josh, you ever had therapy? When I was younger, yeah. What, like, what does a therapist, like, do for you? They make you... Jack them off? 
tone. What? <laughs> they make you say all of the shit that's going on in your life out loud in a way that makes you think about it in a different way. Is, I guess this is the best way to explain it. That was Do you believe in therapists? I think that some therapy is good for a lot of people, yeah. I, I was talking to Big Sad, and he said he he had a, he was doing a therapy thing for his anger problems. In jail, though. And he was like, that should actually help me. I had a lot of anger problems when I got out. I was, I was like, really, uh, you know, better and shit like that. And I was like, damn. I you ever took therapy? Nah. Would hell you? Nah. I would, though, just to go see what they talking about, just to see what's up with that shit. Because everybody keep hollering about this shit, but I want to see how much it help. I want to... See what's going on. I've seen a few motherfuckers clown in therapy and shit like that. Like, there ain't, ain't no, no, no reason to clown it though. I seen Rick Ross. I'm gonna do that shit for, for therapy, and he was like, "What, what y'all was talking about?" And, and it was just funny. He was like, "They even paid 120 dollars, nigga, for y'all niggas to talk about." You for about sure gonna be crying dinner? as soon as you walk up in there. Hell, <laughs> yeah, dog. it's like that. It's kind of. They're gonna ask all the right questions. They're gonna make you like. Go into detail about specific things. They like guide you through this shit. Dude, you've had a traumatic ass life. You're gonna break the fuck down and start crying. That's what I heard. Three seconds. In like there. sharp. Yeah. Like sharp was sharp, crying. Like the sharp shit. Oh yeah, you was crying like a motherfucker. Fuck mm. no, nigga. But it was a sad moment in my head. It was a sad, I, I, a sad moment. Then I broke out of it. But I was talking. He didn't know. You know what I'm saying? It was just something that I was speaking about. You know, again, I'm going to bring up the boy name and that too. That's not Don't out. Don't do it today, big, man. Big sad. That's not out either. But uh, just those two times and then y'all ain't going to hear me say a nigga name no more. But yeah, I was we was talking crazy and it just was like, damn. But I had to snap out that shit though. It, it just brought me back to the day and that whole moment and it just fucked me up. And I'm like, damn, bro. I went through that shit. I'm like, damn, I really went through that. Like, So yeah, man. I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what it do. Like paying 120 dollars to talk to a nigga. I can talk to you niggas for free. Well, hopefully we get a sponsor. <laughs> Better help. Tell them to come through. We well, did it before. Why not? I did. Yeah, Better help. Come fuck with it at the end of the day, man. Oh, that therapy shit real. Man, y'all niggas born as a motherfucker at the yep. end of the day today, man. It's 123 at 123, man. Come on, get in the comments, man, because you niggas born today. They tired as a motherfucker. They got to go do another hell. whole you show. Too. They got to do a full show today. Right Everybody is oh, your brain don't work. Bro, bro. Yeah. You know, he's you know, flashing down. I'm looking at him. He's hey, calming hey, down. Hey, you know, how, you know how bad I knew it was? I actually threw my wallet away when I came in here. I was like, oh, my God. What's you going doing? on? Bro, you tired? I, bro, I've been just working too hard. This been... And you gotta go film right now. Nigga. You gotta go film after. Then well, film after film that. After. You're dragging me along with you. I'm tired of motherfucker <laughs> too. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm tired. Hey man, but the too. money don't stop printing. That's, That's all true. good. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This month probably been my busiest month. <clears throat> Have very important conversations, working on some dope shit. Man, I got some shit with Red Bull coming out. That shit gonna be cold. With Red Bull? Red Bull. Ooh. <sighs> I gotta film. I gotta film like. Five times this week with them, and then I got some other shit, and then I got this shit, and then I got some other, and then I got the movie shit, and then I got like some other shit where I gotta go do some other shit. But yeah, man, I've been fucking working. I ain't gonna like lie. Red Bull, y'all owe me a fucking chain. I ain't gonna forget that shit. What, what happened? I did a fucking show where they fucking had us like review jury or something like this. This is a long time ago, but then they were supposed to give you the chain. And it was like, oh yeah. They said, like, give it back, and we're just gonna send you the like the real one. They never gave it to me. Damn. Red Bull. They don't give a fuck. So do know when you see them next week. I'm gonna be like, hey, you know what? My homie D said ten years ago. Hey, when Kelvin <laughs> when, when Kelvin was in here talking to the bitches, was Bossa Nova in here? Yep. He was in here. Was Bossa Nova trying to crack the hoe? Mm-mm. You know, boss is different, man. Uh, why y'all wasn't trying to crack the hoes? Boss, what's going on? He be up on the bitch naked, too, the whole little yeah. shit. He don't no, he get right into it. Boss. I don't be like, get in the lips. Get in the lips. He be over there. <laughs> <laughs> and boss don't even give a shit. Like, he ignoring us right now. Like, he don't give a fuck about that shit. That's crazy. Do we have naked bitches in here and nobody give a fuck? Bro, it's crazy. Except you. you know <laughs> <laughs> like, off the honey. I don't do nothing, man. <laughs> nah, he he said, be except honey. you. <laughs> He always called Duno. He love you. He be looking at the bitches on the Patreon. 
That should be cool. But uh, if I ain't gonna lie, bro, after walking the girl when she was being a dog and shit. That shit fucked your reputation up, dog. No, I was just like, man, there ain't nothing crazier than this shit. Other than the nah, bro. For other, all the 50 in the I asshole. Did, I did the very first one and Kazumi laid the groundwork, bro. The 50 in the asshole was crazy too. But the story Kazumi had, nigga, that shit was like, I was like, what the fuck? I ain't never heard nobody talk like that. Ever. Talk like what? Josh, am I lying? The shit that she was telling us? It was the first time, so it did seem like really fucking wild. And when she was saying the stories, I was like, ain't no way this shit real. And then she brought out Polaroids at the time. I was like, this shit crazy, bro. Damn. I ain't going to be on Disconnected on Thursday. So, you know what I'm saying? Fuck Blasi and Disconnected. But I, w- I brought up something. <clears throat> To them niggas, I said something about StockX and shit like that, and them niggas had way was right. too many motherfucking shoes. I told niggas, you said that. I was like, wow. I told niggas, huh? You Nike did listen to that shit. You homie. did. You did call that. I was like, I you could did. go and get any shoe anytime but I want to. That, they that shit not be shoes. available. Oh yeah, they found like fake shoes and shit like that. I mean, they bought five pair of shoes or some shit like that, and then like out of one of one of five, one of them was fake. Every time they bought something. But the crazy thing is, they supposed to test it. I didn't bought shoes from StockX, and they said, like, oh, we're going to have to send it to you later because the shit, like, it wasn't real or something. So I'm like, are they just saying that shit? That shit's crazy. Yeah, it's supposed to be going through, like, a little, you know, they, the when people supposed that, to send it to them. And when you get and that tag they're supposed on to certify there, it says it's certified. Yeah, they supposed to certify it, then send it to you. But they was like, hell no, these niggas got too many shoes. I'm like, bruh, like... These niggas, how can you get a, a a shoe, nigga, that's only 200 pair left and you can get them anytime you want? Like, that shit don't even make no fucking sense, bro. They gonna have to crack down, too, on them niggas that be having all them fucking shoes in their garage and shit all. Like, how the fuck you get all these damn nah, shoes? Nah, niggas be having like, them, though. Hey, from Nike, Nike, y'all gonna have to answer to that shit because I need to know how the nigga in, in the garage and Gardena got the, all the motherfucking shoes. Like, nigga, that shit sound crazy. Yeah, that shit be hitting them out. shipments. Shit, bro, I ain't, yeah. gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. My plug got like a whole room. Just whatever shoe you want, bro. Oh, them motherfuckers was, fake. They uh, fake as fuck. No, yeah, no, no, no. They definitely fake. fake he got a, no, he got all this shit. Like, he like yeah, a plug. No, no, don't let like, easy slides, bro. Fuck you. They don't even make that color. They don't even make that color. They don't make that color. They don't make that color. Nah, but yeah. I be like, damn, bro. They really be having all these shoes. Like, the shoe plugs really be having. I'm like, you motherfucking resellers is crazy like a motherfucker. And I'm like, how you niggas get this shoe? My plug. Nigga, what plug? Nigga, China? Man, that shit is crazy, But bro. honestly, would you care, like, if the shit looked just like it? No, nah, I wouldn't give a fuck. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like, if it if, if it Like, if you like paid the, shoe, the price and it came out, looked just like it and it was fake, would you honestly give Because when nobody be able retail, to tell? I pay retail. I pay retail. I'm just fly. I just want the shoes. Like, now you can't even go. Like, it say niggas is crazy. Like, niggas is buying shoes. Now you buying shoes and be like, oh, those ain't worth nothing. Oh, those won't be worth nothing. That's crazy. Like, you can't even go buy no regular shoes. The no fuck more. is you eating? The cop. Oh, this, <laughs> this nigga hungry, man. The this fuck? fat bitch over we here. We about to go the eat, cat. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how we like, we got a few more minutes. Like, like oh, damn. Man. What do you mean? I did like two on the cab. This nigga, fat ass nigga, eating the cap in the water. <laughs> Mind your crip ass fucking business, bitch. <laughs> yeah. like on a podcast and you're chewing is a distraction. A chewing a cap. Nah, man, I'll pay attention to how many T-Rex talking about shoes. AD got distracted. He's not paying attention. Nigga, because you're snacking on a cap, a bottle you're not cap. You're snacking a cap. You're just a habit. You fucking nasty, dude. How's that nasty? You about to swallow it, too. Bro, didn't you get the, the slap plastic twice? plastic is you nasty. You nasty. Oh, shout out my nigga Trevor, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he doing Whatever. his thing. He doing his thing. I don't know if he want to tell everybody, but he. Um, I'm finna go do my thing Monday. You feel me? I'm finna get the new hairline. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go, too. I ain't about to be left out of here. I, Wait. I, I, you want to go? Let's go. Let's go. We can, we can vlog it. We gonna be crying. <laughs> Wait, Trevor's in Turkey right now? Fuck no. I don't know what Trevor's doing right now, but I'm going to get... The hair line. Oh, it's just you're not gonna be here next week? Nah, I ain't no. gonna be here Wednesday. Damn, Damn, bro, are you excited? Are you nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. I just really want him to do it right. I just wanna, you know what I'm saying? I just. Hey, T-Row, hey, T-Row, bro, I got a head tattoo. I got a head tattoo. Tell him, bitch, you were like. Yeah, I was like, bitch, I need the thing. Hey, they drew on your head with the marker? Not yet. I'm finna vlog the hey, whole Hey, let me do shit. it right I'm now. A, I'm gonna TikTok the shit. Let me do it right now. Fuck no, because that ain't waterproof. No, that's waterproof, waterproof fool. That ain't yeah. waterproof. Yeah, it is. That's not waterproof. Yeah, it is. It's not, it's not permanent. Let me see. Let me do it. It's let me not. do it. Look. That's sir. 
Don't go away. All right, all right. Come, come on, on, come on. on. <laughs> <laughs> let me do it. Let me do it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, get homie. Hold up, hold up. Hey, that shit is bad. Doctor, Doctor AD. Come on, dog. I know exactly where to put it. Hook me up. Hell, now nah, you doing this shit on the. You gotta give me lines, fool. Not just one big line. No, no, I gotta make it believable. <laughs> there's no, bro. There's no way he's gonna be right there. You're gonna have no forehead, stupid. Give him the Eddie Monster. Don't draw into his shit, you awesome. piece of All right, that's enough lines, motherfucker. No, no, I gotta, I gotta color it in. That's your Bro, he's blind. Oh, my God. Hey, Am I oh. going to look crazy? Bro, if you get it right there, you're going to look right, bro. Nah, that's I look cool. <laughs> you look real fucking cool. Hey, you look stupid. Look at everybody with their fucking phones. I have to turn the cameras around. You think it's crazy? Yeah, he would like this. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I want you up on that side. I wouldn't even try to do that. There you go. What the fuck? They gonna do that? Give me a rag now. Fuck y'all. Hey, go to the mirror. Look at it real quick. Where's that? Wait, wait, no. Somebody give him their phone. Give him their phone. Let me see. Let him see what he looks like. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ready? Look. Why everybody come out of nowhere? Yeah, they came out of nowhere. Let me see. He fucking. Oh, crazy. Bro, imagine you put it right there. Hey, if I come out like that, nigga, I'm telling you, I'm gonna grow braids. I'm gonna grow braids. You went over a little crooked right here, man. Yeah, I told you. Bro, I'm gonna let you get me back. Come on. Damn, I'm ugly, oh, cuz. Do it in here. Hold on. Use that other marker. Right now. No, don't use that one. <laughs> the motherfucker will be like, what the fuck? Let me see. Damn, you fucked up. Too, nah, 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 do it from the back. Pause. 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 What you mean? Do it from the back right here? Yeah, they need to bring you like right here, bro. <laughs> nah, that's too short. Nah, they need to. Let me see. So? Hey, D, look at yeah, me. Yeah, you gotta come down like another like half inch. Yeah, inch. like half an inch, and then like you. Right here, damn. Yeah. yeah. Oh. If he come down right here, bro, that's funny as a bitch, homie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Let me see. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga change his life, guys. That nigga life change, bro. New hairline. <laughs> hey, we going. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You excited just to go to Turkey for overall? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> for have you ever been? Yeah, yeah, I've been to Turkey, but I was just always in the you hotel. You ate a turkey yesterday, huh? <laughs> Fat ass nigga. <laughs> what? Fat <laughs> bitch. Hey, the turkey. <laughs> your stupid ass up on your trip, dumb bitch. You finna come. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I know you. <laughs> That's Fuck Phil, man. He gonna try to put me up on some fucking random hey, that guy, ass Hey, th hey Thumbka, do your job. Hey, how about it? Oh, no. Uh, you probably fucking work for the meme. He probably the meme page, dog. You think what Thumbka if he was? Whoa. <laughs> he he laughing, too. Everybody think it's Boston over though. Yeah, it's Boston over. It's dog. definitely Boston over. You think it's, it's Boston? Boston yeah. Yeah. Dog. Man, he gotta start fucking making revenue off that shit. Where the fuck we gonna do this next live show? Damn, bro, we gotta go to the East Coast. Fuck, man, that shit was too fun. I want to do that. Paul, Josh, we gotta go to the East Coast. We I can do that like shit New York. all week, bro. Like New York, bro. We going on a little East Coast run. That's gonna be fun. New York, Boston. Oh, you want to just go to New York because there's a lot of Spanish motherfuckers. That food, there. what? It's a lot of black people there too, bitch. But no, it's a lot of <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. It is, but it's a lot of Spanish motherfuckers that got swag though. Yeah, yeah, New York different. When I went over there, I was like, damn. Motherfuckers, man, shout out to homie Bodega Bands. When I went to Spanish Harlem, they demeanor was Bodega different. Bands, I got a song in here. Yeah, hard yeah. as fuck. What was their demeanor like? The demeanor just very East Coast, New York. You Did you me? go to Dominican Club? I, I went to one. That shit was crazy. I ain't going to lie, bro. I went to a Dominican like, bar. Everybody had ass. That was crazy. Everybody going to the Dominican Republic get their ass done. Damn. Would you ever get a BBL? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> Shit, we know you'll get lipo. How <laughs> for sure? You'll get lipo, though, dog. Right now, with the hairline. Give me the package, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back in here like, hey, like this nigga tripping. <laughs> hey, man, like, bro, which rapper you know got lipo? This nigga crazy, bro. Not saying nothing, man. Which rapper you know got lipo, motherfucker? Damn, you know you know a rapper that got lipo, bro. No, a couple. I was gonna say I bet it's more than one. I know a couple. What's their names? <laughs> you first. You I, didn't get, I didn't get you it. You probably in got me. it before. No. You, can, you can blow back up. You can get lipo and blow back up. You can up. blow back up. You get lipo. Yeah. 
Really? Mm -hmm. You can get like what? You're just getting sucked out. If you get like the band stuff. You just gonna be a fat stomach. bitch with ass. Oh, you talking about the lap band? They still <laughs> got that? You could do that, yeah. The lap band. He's been thinking about getting a lap band? No. <laughs> Stop I'm just lazy as fuck. You want a lap dance for Adam's sister? <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. You don't want to you talk about people's dead mom, you asshole. Yeah, talking about that's fucked up. That was fucked up. Your homie ain't even talking to you no more for that. Yes, he do. That just couldn't go to that nigga wedding. He just scanned this motherfucker. He said, man. Your other homie don't talk to you the no Jehovah more. Why he want to throw that in there? Too? That nigga scanned <laughs> He said you was grimy. That's somebody that, that knows me. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hey, lie. Hey, what you say, bro? But he said that's what told him. That's why he was in there. Hey, bro, come here real quick. Come here. <laughs> oh, come my here, bro. Damn beer on the channel, come here. Come, man. Here, come, come here, bro. Come here. Come here. Come on, on bro. This nigga scandalous on me and brought fear on this motherfucker, man. Come on, talk about it. Lie on me. Come on. Is the homie grimy? <laughs> grimy <laughs> Talk to the mic. That nigga T Real grimy. He grimy as fuck. That's, <laughs> that's why JB don't want to talk to you no more. Hey, hey how long? How long you know that for? Come on. I've known him for like 15 years, probably 20 years. He been grimy the whole 15 years. He ain't as grimy no more though, but he used to be grimy. Oh, wow. Hey, bro, hey, bro, keep it up. I used to live in that house in Compton too. Yeah, he was there oh, with damn. me. So he grimy too. He was in that motherfucker, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, keep it up. What's the grimy and shit you seen him do? You're like, T Rock, I gotta move the fuck out. Motherfucker grimy. The grimy shit he ever did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It just have been a lot of shit though. Nah. Uh, but what did he do for his homie to not want to talk to him? I just told y'all, man. My, he, he just the lifestyle he he lived. And, he we, he got a family channel you know on YouTube. Saying, though, but he got happened, a fucking clothing store. Couple years ago, though, this happened a couple years ago. This ain't nothing new. This happened a couple years ago. JB used to be wild too though, but he changed his life. You know, so, so he saying T Rail was a bad influence. Yeah, he was because influence. he was the main one always doing the bullshit all the T -Rail. time. T Rail, T Rail's the main one. The loudest one, the main one always doing shit. And that's hey, why I feel hey bro, like that's why JB hey bro, don't want to talk to him. Anymore. For you know why I believe you? You know I believe you? Cause he this motherfucker the one to talk back for everything. Right now, everything you saying, he ain't shit shit to you, but looking at us like nah, nah. I can't believe he came over here and snitched on me. Man. Yeah, what? You you grimy, nigga. I mean, you ain't grimy no more, but I'm saying though, like No, and then and he's then trying to throw me under the bus like and I then, did, like, and I then said, like I ain't gonna lie. So and, and, and I ain't gonna lie, but people think when, when when we say grimy, people think that he grimy to certain Nah, he grimy to certain people. His good homies, you're not grimy to your good homies. Man, uh, he loyal. Yeah, was yeah. JB his good homie? Yeah, he was everybody's good homie. And now he ain't talk to him no more? Yeah, he ain't talk to him no more. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit hurt you when he ain't talk to you in a while? Yeah, that shit hurt my feelings. But JB was grimy too, though. That shit hurt my feelings, man. Yeah. JB, I, mean, well, I talked to his brother the other day, and I was like, man, tell that JB, shit, right? that shit fucked camera. up. Look at the camera, JB bro. ain't watching this devil shit. Yeah, this is devil shit? shit? This is, is devil shit. The, 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 the boss do porn! <laughs> It's true. <laughs> well, you can't get no worse than that. You know what I'm saying? This your boss, and he got a porn channel. And it's HR, over. HR telling us that we came from the Big Bang and shit. This is bad over here. And they don't believe in the God. Oh yeah, JB ain't watching this shit. Yeah, Fuck no. I, ain't gonna I love you though, JB man. I just want to spend some time with you, girl. Nah, he can't. <laughs> he <said> he can't <laughs> <laughs> I like how that shit's so real. <laughs> I, he, I mean, he don't even fuck with me like that. I, I talk to him on the phone and shit like that, but like I be trying to hang out with him sometimes, and he just like, yeah, I'm gonna let you know. Keep it G. You didn't think of like, like what was it about your wedding? You was just like, cause you you had other homies there, right? Nah, yeah, nobody. Nobody. Look, 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 tell him, Hey, you really pressed, son. Nobody. I was hot. Nobody. Nobody he had was there. The, you didn't have no reception. Bro didn't tell me he proposed. Bro didn't tell me. Wait, he was had anybody there? Reception. Ah, oh, this nigga scandalous, bro. <laughs> no God, it's great. <laughs> that nigga scandalous, man. Nah, but this my homie, man. I've been knowing this nigga for 20 years, man, for sure. Probably like, yeah, 20 years. Two weeks, you know what I'm saying? His little brother since niggas been growing up, man. I've been knowing these niggas, so yeah. I take it personal. These my niggas. Damn. You know, better. Yeah, shit, but JB gonna talk to you, fool. One day, Could huh? you give him some time? Just yeah, one day. Call. Yeah, just call him. I try to meet up with him, and he's trying to do like a Skype meeting and shit. So I'm like, let's chill. He's like, yeah, so you grimy too. 
Uh, yeah, you <laughs> grimy motherfucker. You don't want to fuck with you either. Yeah, get your motherfucking ass out of here too, nigga. You grimy too, man. Get this nigga up out of here, bruh. Oh, come on, bruh. Why you sitting here, man? My, my boy got a, a mobile uh, car cleaning little shit. You know what I'm saying? Shut your shit up. You bought it with you? Nah. I oh, I'm about to say. I can nah, use, I can I can use it right now. I got a mobile detailing business and shit, you know. A1 mobile car care. Yeah. Hell yeah! No, you, you got a number, nigga. Come on. Yeah, I got a number. I got an Instagram. It's tell me your number. Tell, tell don't tell. Don't, don't no no no. <laughs> don't tell him your number. Stupid ass. <laughs> they was gonna be blowing your shit up right now. I got an Instagram <laughs> called at A One Mobile Car Care. Yeah. <laughs> they was yeah. about to blow his then, shit up. And then my wife got a a, a, a business too. Her shit called uh, Flavor from Home. She sells seasonings and hot sauce and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, Has T Rail supported any of the businesses? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, real homie, sure, right there. Sure. He ain't so grimy, man. Fuck you talking about, man. Shout out Carissa, man, doing her hey, thing. Hey, but no, man. but for real, tell me your number, bro. It's good. Like, no, oh. hey, D. <laughs> fuck out of here. You can follow me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I did that. I did that one time here. It was over. Already be getting crazy calls and text messages all day, scamming and shit. They be scamming you? They tried to, cause I had my number on my Instagram, so like every day I be getting. Oh yeah, calls. don't do that. I took it off though. Trying to get to me. Bro, I did that shit one time here. It was the worst decision ever. Gave your number out. Nigga. The dumbest nigga on earth. Mm -hmm. I said, man, I was drunk as fuck. I said, I'm about to answer everything. FaceTimes, all that. I, that was bad, bro. Fuck, you want to go change your number? Yeah, I had to. And then Adam, bro, if you would see the type of shit they, they, they send me, watch this. Cash that request every fucking day, bro. Hey, y'all must have been going up on Tuesday show, man, because... You know what I'm saying? The views is going crazy. Let me say one more thing before I go. <laughs> before I go back, man, long live Big Extras, homie. You know what I'm saying? My homeboy just passed away. You know what I'm saying? Long live Big Extras, bro. Yeah. HIP, Big Extras, my boy. You know what I mean? We'll end it like that, man. Yes, sir. It's at the end of the day. No, 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 no. no. I got one more. I got one more. What's crazy is this shit going to be a little serious. I mean, it is serious. But shit. My shit, my homegirl, my she one of my sister's best friend, her baby just passed away. Mm. You feel oh, me? Yeah. In the sleep. You feel me? Josh, can I tell you to go for me real quick, Josh? Yeah, put that up, put that yeah. let everybody see that. But yeah, that shit was crazy. I didn't know that from the age of like from when people from when from when babies are born to like three, they forget to breathe. This it's I think it's like a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. That's a thing, OG Jesus. It's sudden. Yeah. What's it called? It's called SIDS. It's sudden infant death shit. It's uh not shit. It's like syndrome or whatever. From the time until they're like one or whatever, kids can just like like forget how to breathe, right? Yeah, you got, that's why you have to like monitor them and shit in their sleep. Man, I'm up all night. I don't play that shit. That's scary right there. <clears throat> no, yeah, I didn't know. I see I, niggas be laughing at me, but I be up all night poking niggas and shit, doing all nah, that shit. Nah, I've been I'm doing that shit since I was little. I go in my room, my mama room, and be like. You know what I mean? <laughs> Touch her a little bit, like, okay, she might do some shit, and I get out of there, like, all right, she good, like. Hold up, Josh, I'm getting bro. there. Nah, yeah, but she, she want a good hunger. She like, man, she, bro, she been around my sister for a while, but, you know, it, it's good. She, the baby was two, bro. I mean, she, for the Braley gonna turn two. And I was like, damn, man, that's, that's fucking. That's scary. Because I ain't gonna lie, because I ain't gonna lie, my fucking, my sister was supposed to come to one of my shows, and she's like, hey, I'm not going to make it. And at first I was like, man, and she's like, nah, it's because this certain situation happened. And then you don't even really know what to tell anybody, right? Like, like shit, bro, I messaged the homegirl, Liana, all praise to you. You feel me? I, you know what I mean? But I was like, damn, that's crazy, bro, a baby. Baby did nothing wrong. Nobody did nothing wrong. It just man, happened. When, when you sent the news, like, man, y'all posted, I was like, I can't post this shit. And I just, and I went like, I gave a quick prayer. Then I looked at my baby and I just, you know. I no, I feel it. Up. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. You know, and I was like, ah. Shout out to um, Milk Tyson too, because um, I don't know if anybody, if you seen when me and Adam was here with, you know, the young homegirl, Kiara, she, oh, passed, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, passed, she passed away. But my homie Milk Tyson deal with kids with cancer, bro. Every day of his life, he made it his mission, bro. And you know, sometimes you see that so much, you be like, "Damn, it's a blessing, bro, just to be able to, to even do what we doing right now and make it this far in life." Because there's a lot of children, bro, who, would, who won't even get to see five, bro. That shit's crazy, sad. Nah, yeah. When I seen this, I was like, "Damn, you don't even know what to tell them." All the real ones donate yeah. to this right now. The littlest things matter, like a dollar. Little thing matters, you know what I mean? man. But, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. When I seen this shit, I was like, "Fuck, I got to." 
I gotta like ask the army the shit. But yeah, that shit real life crazy, bro. That whole like losing the baby, I could only imagine, bro. But yeah, we you know. You know what's even crazier, bro? Like I be feeling bad for moms that be so ready for the baby to be born, and then <sighs> you know they find out the baby died, and they got to push it out still, bro. That shit is that shit is crazy. Like miscarriages, and shit. Uh -huh. that is crazy. But yeah, we got none of that. Positive. Happy Mother's Day to yeah, all the mothers, moms. all the single moms, all everybody. You know what I'm saying, grandmas, aunties, everybody that's doing their thing, man. Shout out to y'all, cause that shit is hard work. But yeah, we gonna end this shit, man. This is at the end of the day. Yes, sir. Tiny yes, Cook won't be here next week. We ain't gonna be here, man. We'll Damn. find somebody. Damn, they gonna somebody. replace me already, man. I know Josh gonna find somebody. <laughs> Golly, but yeah. No, 